Hey, this is James App from the Dapper Den Barbershop in Richfield, Connecticut, and today we have Nick. All right, so uh, Nick, what are we doing today? Uh, All right, so for the hair, I have a picture like of everything. what I want. And that's from the side. Okay. And then from the... Are we doing the same thing with the beard or no? No, we're going to keep the beard um, long but take it in at the sides. Okay. Uh, and clean up the mustache so it's off the lip. Off the lip. So you want to side on the side. You kind of like yeah. the V thing. You got good liking. Yeah. Thing you got have. Okay, cool. Disinfect for four hours. <laughs> All right, so for this, so I've got something to play with. I'm going to use my magic clip. I'm also using an eight wall guide. And I'm just gonna kind of get some shape here. Which way are you? You're gonna rock it all forward, correct? Yeah, forward, forward and up. Forward and up. Okay. Right. I'm gonna start coming in the direction I want right now. And I might wind up going a little bit shorter, but I just want to see what this is gonna look like right now. How long has it been without a haircut for you? Uh, five months at least. Five months. I'm leaving this guideline right here because I'm just going to blend the whole thing up. It, it, it doesn't even out. I do get more publicity than they gain out of it. And uh, I think that's it. We're good. How's it look? It looks perfect. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> James, you used that joke in the last video. All right, Charles, why don't you do a video and then you can talk to me. Whoa! And I'm just doing clipper over comb, just get the hair some shape right now. Get all that heavy bulk out of the way. Because there's so much bulk right now on the, on the sides of his head and everything, I'm going to start to do my outline now and just see the hair start to take its own shape before I start going up and hitting the top. So I'm taking my uh, Fabulous oh, <laughs> Pro T outliner right here. Did we just become brothers? We love brothers? I, I was once... I'm start to clean up the uh, a bit when, I was just watching that. it before. Yeah. This is not good to be filming. Dude, you're going to feel so light. Uh, no. Again, we do like to do our rounded backs here. Yeah. I know. And to make the hair look a little bit nicer, I'm just going to do a little bit of a taper, but I'm doing my taper uh, clipper over comb. So I'll just take my comb like this, and I get all those hairs right there. And I keep going up with it. Dude, I could so see Jared listening to this when he was in like high school, being like, I'm the man. Who's after high school? Just drive around blasting the uh, subwoofers in the Hyundai accent. And the car did you drive in high school, James? 98 Jeep Wrangler. Chili pepper red. So the passport, that was when you became a soccer dad, or? Uh, it's a Honda Pilot, thank you very much, and it's a very reliable car. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so like for this, I'm I just like going to take movie. it. Get myself a guideline uh, to start working with. I'm gonna hit it right yeah. above his eyes. Yeah. This is gonna be enough for him to push up when he needs to. Now we're gonna start just chopping into this. So because he's wearing it straight forward, I'm gonna kick it to each side and make sure each side is evened out. Stone, yes, stone. Stone, so. stone sour. Yeah, and this guy. So you ah, are. Uh, you came all the way from Manchester, right? Yep. Very nice. Thanks nice for coming in today. Yeah. I saw a beard brand video, right? I did. For some reason, he's going to trust me with this. <laughs> so now I'm going and getting my guy down. Already, it feels amazing. Probably going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to cross check it by going across this way because I know he's going to be running it this way. I don't know if what I just said made any sense. I'm going to push it this way because he's going to run it this way and I'm going to cut it this way. I'm going to cut it this way. Let's hope it looks good. Details. Details. <laughs> Just the minor stuff. <laughs> <He's> listening. 
you have no part, right? You just rock it all forward? Yeah. All right, good. So right there, I can see I'm starting to push it down. You can see some of the hair is starting to fall over. I'm gonna go back and hit that with the two. Right. Always gotta keep checking it. Good. All right, so now I'm gonna start taking some texturizing shears. Start going into this a little bit. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. I mean, if you want, call, call me and I'll let you know. I think I didn't want to throw it out. I don't remember if I did. Oh, man. My wife shears. I'll try. Yeah. Yes, you do. So do you want to go to your shoulder on the sides and kind of see a shape or anything like that? Or what do you mean? Uh, I think that's a good length. It's a good length on sides and everything? Yeah. 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 It tends to get very poofy and kind of shorter. Yes, it will. Yeah. The thing is, I hit it with those spinning shears and stuff like that, so the back right. of the hair is going to start pulling the other hairs down. I'm going to go back into this. So I was just going in with these uh, Hattori Hanzos, which are the thicker uh, parts to it right now. And just kind of cleaning this all up. All blends very nicely, just kind of hitting the tips. So are these right? Uh, Classic. Oh, what kind of product are you using? Yeah, I've been using them so long. Yeah, right. No, they, no, these weren't. Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. We're gonna choose some stuff. beard brand stuff. There you go. I'll take it. Okay. All right, so for the beard, we're going to bring this in tight, right? Yeah. So we're going to kind of something like that. Yep. And just kind of keep this shape. Yeah. All right, so he's got kind of a nice, like, V Viking thing going on right now, so we're going to try to keep that yeah. as much as possible. Could you adjust a little bit? But I do want to get all this stuff that's uh, yeah. underneath him right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, one step at a time. Okay. Okay. I see some guys put like a clipper guard on and then um, hit the beard like that. I prefer to do it freehand, that's just the way that I like to do it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I know. My next stop. Yeah, sides are Yeah. It was weird. Yeah, they have like shuttles to take it to yeah. the resort. Yeah, they yeah. yeah. so you get on that. How's that for the mustache? Yeah, it looks great. You can oh, eat yeah. now. I can you eat. Can drink beer without oh, getting God. everything. This is the worst. I'm going to take a I can start seeing where I'm going to make my line right now. Oh, this is going to take off. All right, I'm liking the shape of that right now. I think why don't you sit up to the look at it. Oh, yeah. Better? All right, yeah. It's got some good shape down here. Still left a lot of length. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just kind of cleaned up the bottom and everything like that. That's Jared. Yeah, back to the crappy cameraman. Oh, God, are you really filming right now? Yes. Good luck. <laughs> all right, you know, all the way backwards. All right. 
This is the first real-time client video. How do you feel to be part of that? It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Shave your neck? No. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit it. That's a good thing to ask your client if they're not gets irritated. I heard Sam really touch his neck. He's got some irritation down. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to tap this line as best as possible. Look at a complaint about the shaky camera again. Is that too hot? No. Still good? Yeah. Still good? Yeah. Alright, good. Alright, just relax. This is again just gonna open up his pores like we always do. Can we get my blade ready. Dude, if this comes out shaky and out of focus... James, there's something happening with the camera. All right, so this, I'm using gel, I'm using... Boom. I'm really stretching the skin. Just tapping that line. You know what view they call this? This is the POV view. This is exactly what James sees right now. Looking good. Go like this for you, man. Yeah, right, so I already see there's like a little bit of a light spot right here, but I know where I brought the line up before. So when I pick them up into the mirror, I'm gonna check the lines to see if I maybe need to bring this down lower right now before I can make that where it is. So now I can take a look at his lines in the mirror right now. So I can already tell this part right here has to come down a little bit to match this. You can see the lightness right here. So let me try to match this with this over here. I wouldn't try to show up the camera and do this You do your own lineup when you do it? Yeah. What do you use? Uh, Mach 3 razor. <laughs> it's class one. Any more razors would be considered surgery. <laughs> and a little bit of luck and prayer. That's a brand. <laughs> you can buy that. So now I'm just cleaning this up with thinning shoes, cleaning it all in. I noticed personally that when you shear it, it, it helps a lot. Especially the beard. It's down bottom on my neckline, it's very thick. Yeah. You know, and it's hard for me to get a brush or a comb through. What are you doing for care for your beard? Are you blow drying it? Or are you doing anything? No, I do beard oil after I shower. Okay. And when I need to look fancy, I put in beard balm. Oh. Oh, hello. Hello, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I think you look fancy right now. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What yeah. scent treats you here? Um, Temple Smoke, Old Money, Four Vices, Tea Tree, or Tree Ranger. Surprise me? That's not beard brand I'm putting on your face. Let's use four vices. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be our four vices. Is that in focus? Yes, sir. Sea salt spray. So we said it doesn't really do anything to his beard. We're going to try to make him look nice and fancy and try to get all this kind of wave and stuff out right now by using the spray. This going to dry a little bit in his hair, too. It smells so nice. Ooh. Salty and seductive. <laughs> you know if that gets too hot, it's gonna be a little warm, and then it gets come down. Alright. Right. Right. You can already sort of see that this wave is gonna be going away a little bit. You can head up nice. You haven't done anything like this before? No. Yeah. Right? Try to change your life over. Yeah, 
You see how the wave is all gone? It oh, kind of yeah. looks like a well tanned beard mark. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to get the hair first while we still got some spray. So just do the regular brush. Great man. Okay, you like it? Yeah. Cool. Awesome man. Thanks so much. Thank you. you from the Dapper Den Barbershop. That George was, says thank you. And Charles says thank you. And TJ says thank you. Say adios, mi amigo. See you later. Hi, this is James Zapp at the Dapper Den Barbershop in Richfield, Connecticut, and today we have Law. How's it going? All right, Law, what are we doing today? Well, been here, probably haven't been here in about two months. Give or take, yeah. So this is really kind of really getting bushy here. So mm -hmm. it's coming into summer. I want to bring it down, yep. maybe about halfway, okay. all around. Again, uh, Keeping the mustache, trim it up a bit, make it look a little bit better because it's you just don't getting really like the walrus thing. No, it's much. just getting into everything. You know, it's a pain in the ass. You drink a yeah. pint, and it's just everywhere. Okay, you know cool. uh, that. As far as the hair, mm -hmm. you know, we'll fade this up real tight. Hopefully, with like a a, a hard part here. Okay. You know, okay. slowly. You know, I'm prior military, so I like a like uh, high and tight. But with the hard part is nice, and this is a little bit shorter here. Yep. You know, still to be able to kind of come over to the side. I don't put it back like yours. Yeah. So you kind of so, want, but in terms of like length, you kind yep, of want exactly, to like exactly, yeah. Okay. You, yeah. You know, give me a little shorter. You know, that's you can easy. go like a, a, a one or. Yeah. All right. You know? So we can do that. Awesome. And that's really about it. Let's take a, what are we gonna do with the uh, the handlebar mustache? Do you want to keep that? Uh, I do want to keep it. Uh, you know, I do like. It. I just think it needs to come in. I'm not looking for some big swooping thing. I just like a little touch of it. You know, trim up the mustache a bit so it's just maybe at the lip or a little below it, just yep. not into everything I eat, and then kind of taper everything in. I mean, we could probably take a good half take, inch or something off okay, of that. Yeah, maybe. It's we'll long. see how it looks when the beard comes out, but I'd rather have that. I wouldn't mind the mustache and the, you know, everything else being a little bit bushier uh, than than the beard itself, you know, so it kind of yeah. stands out on its own. Awesome. Cool. So that way, if I didn't twist it up, it does look distinct and it kind of sits on top and doesn't yeah. get lost in all this shag. Yeah. Okay, cool. I thought you were going to say no, that too. Yeah. Depending on who you're talking to. So we're gonna do a hard part up on the top right now. So I'm gonna put a red speedo guide clip. And somebody asked in the comments last time what clipper I was using. This is a uh, it's a wall clipper 100th anniversary. It's essentially just the senior, but they just did a new anniversary for it. It's a little bit heavier too. So if you don't like a heavy clipper, I probably wouldn't use this. But so I got my red speedo guide clip on. I'm gonna disinfect away from you so you're not inhaling any of this stuff. So for a hard part, you, you've had a hard part. You had a hard part last time, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. So this is easy for me to start a hard part now because it's already there. The part is established. But if you're not, if you're doing a hard part for the first time, what you need to do is find a natural part uh, that it's going to start. And the way to do that, in case you're wondering, in case they didn't have one, is you comb it all the way back. And this is a perfect example. You see how this hair wants to go high and it wants to go that way? You just follow the way the hair goes. And that's how you can find your part to start your hard part out. So I'm gonna start with the two just open right now to do this. And I'm gonna run this top clip right here across the part. I was a little cautious, so I go a little closer to the lower hairs first and I kind of work my way up. That's gonna establish. I'm gonna clean up all this later. Just wanna get this started. So I'm gonna close my clip. And I'm just going up, going around with the two right now. And you can see the contrast in different of hair, the different size of, or length of hair right now. I'm just gonna kind of open up my clip again and just follow through with that whole part. Go up if I need to, make sure I'm pulling off. Get all that out of the way. Okay, so now we got my red Speedo or black Speedo guide number one on. And we're just gonna start making our one line right now. This is pretty close to the uh, last video I did with Dave, if you saw that one. If not, I'm sure there'll be a link somewhere where I'm pointing right now that Jack is gonna put in to go see the video I did with Dave. Uh, so we're just establishing our one line right now. Just 
going back over, checking, make sure I got everything. Right, so now that we did kind of do our one line, you can definitely see the line that I did in that. I can too, because I'm right up close to it. But now I'm going to open up my clip just a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of go up and just, just hit that line and flick off. <laughs> okay, so then we just went up a little bit. So again, we're going to open up the clipper just a little bit more and just keep working up until we get to that two. Just here cutting two. And again, I'm flicking off as I'm going up as well. Flipping off. Flipping off. Flipping off. Flipping off. Uh, okay, so now I'm just going to open up just a little bit more and just keep going with it. And then lastly, big, we're gonna open it up all the way right now. Now I'm gonna leave, I always do this. I tend to leave a lot, a lot of bolt up here because I like to hit that with the scissors because I like the way it's gonna grow back later on when I cut into this and take all this stuff off with scissors. So right now I'm gonna open this up. I'm just gonna go up and try to get my two. It's looking pretty good so far. So next thing I'm gonna do right now is because this is so short, and he said you like it tight, right? Yep. So I'm gonna actually try to skin, just super low skin, um, or at zero, you'd say. I call that skin. Uh, I'll probably run the uh, profile over it just for a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take my clip off. Wipe this off real quick. All right, so I'm gonna actually try to, what I said before is I'm gonna try to skin fade this out just a bit, low, low, low. I'm gonna use a zero for it and just kind of run over with the profile towards the end. So I have my wall completely closed right now and I'm just gonna go up just a bit here and create a hard line. Get all this out on here. All right, now the same thing as I did with the one, is I'm just opening it up just a little bit. And I'm just gonna kinda hit it just a little bit and then start flicking off as well. And we're not going up that high on that because we're gonna keep it low. Again, open it up just a little bit. I'm also, as you can see, I'm stretching the skin as well when I'm doing this. It's pulling the hairs out. It's gonna leave a nice taper there too. Let's see, we're still, we're just kind of creating more and more lines as we're going up and then we're just getting them away as we move up. And that's why I brought the one up so high because I got a lot of room to work with right now. So now my clip is completely, or my, I'm sorry, my uh, clippers are completely open right now. I'm just kind of going up and I'm kind of feeling for the, his occipital bone is right here, but there's like a little bit of a bone right here too that I can feel and I'm kind of using that to work with my taper as well. And you can see I'm just kind of going up and then just using his head to create its own taper. Now that's not looking too bad. I'm gonna look in the mirror right now to see my lines and everything like that. Okay, so I know that I looked in the mirror, I checked it in the light and everything. So right now I'm gonna use my uh, wall uh, half guard, whatever you wanna call it. Let me turn it off here. Half guard, 1 16th. This is just a half guard. I'm gonna use it completely open right now. And I'm gonna keep going up because I'm gonna try to connect it to that one. And this I'm kind of massaging out. Also using the occipital bone kind of pulling off at the same time. And then what I'm gonna do is I still notice a little bit of dark patches right down there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it up a little bit and I'm gonna start to scrape. So instead of it being right here, I'm actually gonna turn it this way and I'm gonna start to scrape up with the occipital bone. And I'm using it open or a little bit closed right now because I wanna hear if it's even cutting hair. And I'm gonna keep moving down until I hear it start to hit something. So right there, it's not really hitting anything. I'll move it down just a little bit more. Right there, I can hear a little bit of it cutting. And then move it down just a little bit more. So now we're starting to fade down. And also a big thing about talking about this when you're skinning, when you're doing a skin fade, a skin tape, or anything like that, it's important to keep going up. I like to, I like to fade, I'm sorry, keep going into the fade. I like to work up, then I like to work down, then I work back up again. And it's important to also go tight into the skin. Now that's not hurting you at all, is mm -hmm. it? No, so what I'm, I'm kind of pushing in because I gotta get those hairs. We're talking like, what is this, 1 16th? You know what I mean? We have to go really tight to make sure we get everything because then you don't wind up with any dark patches or anything like that. So I'm gonna start like this. I'm working my way back up, making sure this is a good skin taper at the back. Open it up a little bit. 
this here cutting. And again, I am still flicking off. I'm going a little fast here. I know, but I'm just a little more comfortable with it. We're connecting it to the one right now. So right now I'm gonna do my outlining and uh, I'm using my Andis T outliner. And I'm curious as to, a lot of people talk about, you know, like why do you do your outlining now? Why don't you do it at the end? Uh, this is just the way I work. I like to do my outlining now so I can kind of see how everything's going and I'll start with the beard also with the outlining. Some other barbers that work in the shop too and other barbers that I've talked to, they might do their outlining last. Let me know in the comments what order you do your haircut in. Is your outlining last? Is your outlining uh, right after you do the sides? Is it right after you do the top and before you hit the beard? So let me know what you think about that. So right now I'm gonna start mine right after I do the sides. And while I was telling me before that he does wanna go tight on yeah. the beard a little yeah. bit on the sides. Correct. So I want to, uh, I'm gonna kinda of pull this off to the side and just get all these strays or stragglers, I call them, out of the way. I'm just kinda of going up with the curvature. It's a natural thing, going around the ear. While I'm here, I also try to hit the ear hairs as well. Getting old, Law. Yeah, it's What's going on it. with this, man? It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> it's not as bad. We've seen a lot <laughs> worse, man. Do you like me humming in your ear, Law? Sure. James, who sings this? The mother. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I'd like to know in the comments is that when I'm doing my outlining, you can kind of see how I did it already from the last time Law was here. We like to do uh, rounded backs. Uh, sometimes I'll do a square back. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, do you do rounded backs? Do you do square backs? When do you do a rounded back? And when do you do a square back if you kind of switch between both? Okay, so now we're gonna start moving to the top. Just gonna wet it up a bit. And I'm going to start with this side right now and get some of the weight of it off. Again, we're using Hori Hanzo. Cheers. So we're going straight up with that. I'm just kind of getting some of the bulk off of it. Just kind of blending it in because I'm going to like the way this is going to grow back. Law has been, how long have you been coming here for? A couple months? Yeah, a couple months. A couple months now. What time is it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I like the way I've been doing it on his hair for a while with the scissor over comb on the side, getting the bulk off instead of using the clippers. And I just like the way it grows back on him. And now this stuff right here, you can see this is part of his cowlick where it's growing. You can see these hairs starting to stick up here. There's no need for those. Now I could go over them with clippers. I might hit it at the end, but right now I'm just gonna take my scissors and just lightly bring it down to that length. I'll see some of these right here. These are gonna stick up if I don't cut them off, which is when it grows back, it's not gonna look that great. So I'm kind of finding it. You see these hairs right here. Jerry, is that coming through mm -hmm. the camera? You see the hairs are a little bit longer right here. I just want to take those off. Now, I know a lot of people are against cutting the crown off. That's a big, that's a big Oh my thing. God, why don't you use a number six? Yeah, I might. But you can see when this, when this is with this hard part, this is gonna look a lot nicer than if I just left this here, because this would have started growing out this way, especially with him in the way his hair grows and after I've been cutting him for a while. So right now we're gonna start working on the top of his head, uh, doing scissor over comb here. And I'm gonna leave a pretty good amount of length on top because I do like the juxtaposition of short to long. I think it's gonna be a nice cut when it comes out towards the end. So I'm just kind of going up and finding my guideline, what I've been doing, and then just kind of keep moving with it. And then again, I'll always kind of kick it over this way for the odd chance that it does for some reason fall this way. It does have a little bit of evenness to it. You can also tell when I'm cutting scissor over comb, I'll leave it like this. I don't like it going straight like this. I like there to be a little bit of an in, or um, a linear wave to this right now. So I'm gonna kinda just let it go from short to long in the back. It's also, it's also a very low maintenance cut. I gave this to you last time I think, Law, yep. right? And you just kinda put the comb in the morning, you just keep it, it over the side, that's it? Yep. Yeah, it's a pretty low maintenance cut. So if you're looking to try a hard part out or even a soft part, uh, look into it. You don't like to do a lot with your hair. That's perfect. So now I'm gonna have him move this way because I'm super short and I'm just gonna cross check it by going against. Just double checking. Okay, so we got the length where we like it right now on the top. 
So now we're going to go in with the Hattori Hanzo uh, texturizing shears. You can see that the gap that they have in these shears, it's pretty much a point cut. We talked about this in the last video, and these shears are fantastic for trying to blend hair up on the top. So you just take it, just do a couple snips, and it just falls extremely nicely. I'm always just kind of going up, just, get, just getting a tip so everything just blends in just a little bit. I'm not taking any bulk. If you wanted to, you could dry out the hair and pull it up like this and then go into the hair like this and thin it out as well. That'd be really nice. So another technique that you can use with these scissors is you can actually point cut with them and it'll give the hair a nice texture because it's all going to be different lengths and stuff. And it's going to blend very, very nicely. So you take the hair up and you'll actually start to point cut with that. I'm just doing the tips right now. But when you're doing this, because you're not going flat like this and you're going like this, the hair is going to be all sorts of different angles. Especially in the front, that's going to fall really nice. All right, so before we continue with the beard, I'm going to finish up the hair. I went back, I cut off some of the straggle bit things I did with the hard part right now, cleaned up the cowlick a bit, went back over some stuff with thinning shears, and now I'm going to start the hard part. So I'm going to take my T-liner right now, I'm going to have to move your head just towards me a bit, and I'm just going to go against this line. and get myself a base for it. So the thing I like to do with hard parts, I like to make it super thin first. And then I hit it with a blade. To give it a nice sharp, sharp edge to it. So now we're gonna take some shaving gel. You sure that's shaving gel? <laughs> <laughs> Could be anything. And we're just gonna follow the line that we did right now. Very, very little bit at a time. So we're just gonna go down against the grain right there with the clip. And it's taking off some good light. This is just gonna help me out to blend it in. This doesn't want like about half of this off. Always be careful with the mustache. And something we're gonna get into with Law's beard is that he's got some crazy, crazy cow licks under here. Which the weight right now of the beard is helping out. So I'm gonna try to keep some of that, but also take some length off. We got some good things we can work with to shave it out now. See, you can tell like his cow like we talked about, his hair is already starting to go this way and this way and this way. So I'm just gonna start here. I'm gonna hold it with the comb. I'm gonna start about that much off. So now I got myself a line to work with. I'm gonna go back. you gotta work with them. You, know, you can see it's not really cutting the way I want to, so I keep going against it. I'm just trying to get it. Get some good length here too. Don't have to be too cautious. All right, cool. So I can see that the because the cow is kind of flicking out like this. I'm just gonna take. My, uh, this is a Babyliss Pro uh, outliner right now. And I'm just gonna kinda hit that edge and just soften it up just a bit. So I lean his head all the way back, and now you can really, really start to see the cow. Like his hair's growing up, his hair's growing sideways, it's going this way. And I'm doing this because now I wanna get my lines perfect. I can kinda see, because I got the majority of both of my guidelines down. And I'll start to just comb it and let it see what it does naturally. And I'll try to work with that. So that cow lip is in the way. I'm just chopping it right out. This is a normal problem I have. I am right-handed. So usually my right side will be a little bit higher, so I do what I'm gonna work on it right now. So I know that the cow lip's doing that, but that cow lip's going straight up. But if I pull it down, it's still hidden underneath there. I might just take a little bit more off of it just to make it easier on his life. Pull it down. And this side is still too high. So we're just gonna kinda go in just a little bit at a time and just make sure that we get all that stuff off.
face already? It's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> This is gonna open up all his pores, so it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to shave. So we're just gonna hot towel off for some of the shave gel. Animal. Austin Powers, anybody? Yep. Mm -hmm. Correct. Come on, guys. Good talk. So again, he's got a little uh, blemish here, ingrown hair. Is it? So when you when you find these, you just want to go super, super careful around them with the blade because you don't want to irritate it more than it already is. All right, so now we're gonna hit the mustache right now. He's got a pretty good walrus mustache going on right now. And he wants to keep the handlebar mustache when he pulls it out like this. So we're just gonna pull this mustache down a bit. And he wants to take a good amount of off because you can tell right now you're eating it. You know, you probably can't drink a beer or anything like that. If you do want to keep a walrus mustache, the best bet is if you want to drink stuff and you like the way that looks, you gotta start drinking out of straws. Unfortunately, you want to keep the way it looks. Yeah, they got I'm those, st you... those stash guards they make for the top of your pint. It's kind of like a. It's like a lid yeah. with a little hole in it, you know, kind of like a turvis or something like that. You so. probably don't want to carry one of those. No, I don't want to carry that. that. Exactly. So we're going to take some length off of this now. So we're just pulling it all straight down using our beer brand comb. I'm going to pull it up so we can get the separation in. I'm just going to find a nice little guideline for ourselves, kind of going with the way the mustache is going so we're not taking off too much at the same time. Same thing on the other side. Has it look? We got it out of your mouth a little bit. Yes. We still kept some of the yep, handlebar yep, yep. mustache and everything. And it looks good too. You got it that it's not too short. If I didn't want to twist it up, it's yep. manageable. It looks good. It comes out to the sides. Yep. It's, it's perfect. Good. So it's not too yep. long right so, now. We yeah. get too much of a If I'm in a rush problem. and I don't want to spend five, ten minutes or whatever trying to. If you have a handlebar mustache, you know that it, it takes a little bit of time to get it perfect. Yeah. So this is nice if I'm going to run out of the house or, you know, like I said, I, I tour. Perfect. So if I get off the tour bus in the morning, hey, I don't look nutty. You're happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. All right. <laughs> So now we're just going to put some of the tea tree sea salt spray. We use this pretty much in all our videos right now. Is that focused? Good? Cool. So we can use this. We're just going to spray a good amount in here for him. This doesn't straighten his beard too much, but you do kind of comb it out, right? Yep, yep. So this is going to help you out with that. And you are going to dry it in, too. Right there, just get those cowlicks out of the way, too. Now, it's going to get a little frothy. Sometimes that happens. You can kind of see it working in right now. That's okay, because it's just like the beach. Just like salt water, it's gonna get frothy, and that's okay, because it's gonna dry out. It's gonna give it some good hold, too. Gonna kinda work a little bit into the mustache, too. Now we're gonna take a round brush, and a blow dryer, medium heat. Just gonna work this down. You know that gets too hot, all right, love? Yep. Now we're going to put a little bit of pomade in his hair, just to finish it off. So we're just going to get a little bit damp. Just work it in there throughout the entire hair, make sure you get the tips and everything. And the law, like we said before, like we talked about when you had this cut, what's great about it, super low maintenance yeah. cut, right? It's up in the air, hard part. If you were in a rush, that's yep. fine, right? Yeah. We're going to give it a little bit of kick here, push it up a little bit. You know, even wetting it with your hands or whatever, just, you know. What do you think, love? Love it. Yeah? Spot on like always. Awesome, man. Cool. Thanks so much for doing this, man. No, thank you. And thank you from the Dapper Dead. <laughs>
Hey everybody, this is James Zapp from the Dapper Den Barbershop in Richfield, Connecticut, and today we have Ian. Cool, that's good, that's perfect, you nailed it. <laughs> no, no notes. <laughs> So just to clarify, Ian, yeah. we're just gonna be doing uh, mid to low skin fade, yeah. kick it over this way, sure. which you usually go that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, leave a little bit of weight right here, yeah. kind of kick this back. Uh, you do have a little bit of thinning up on the top, so if it's all right with you, I'm gonna leave a little bit of length up on top so you can kick it straight back. That's perfect. Or, that's okay? Yeah, yeah. Cool. And talking about the beard, what do you wanna do with this? This thing uh, is monstrous. So yeah, so really just cutting off the dead stuff, mm -hmm. um, giving it some shape, uh, taking a little off the sides there, cleaning it up. Cool. Uh, yeah. What kind of shape are you going for? Just like. Uh, Boxy, more like angular. Some some angular stuff, yeah. On the angular side. Would be perfect on the cool, side. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. You don't want to point or anything here, right? No. No, okay, cool. Awesome, man. Right on. All right, yeah. let's get to it. Thank you. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just taking a babalus and I am gonna take an eight guard just to get a majority of this bulk out of here. How long has it been without a haircut? So it's been probably just shy of a year. At oh this my point. god, all this right. This is the longest I've ever had it ever? Yeah, yeah. I think maybe December was the last time. Damn, dude. Yeah, normally it's it's really pretty short, regular haircut. So what do you do for work, Ian? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a social worker in the city, so I work with young people uh, in uh, some of the tougher neighborhoods, high-risk mm -hmm. areas, uh, providing as many opportunities as I can to uh, you know, different aspects of life. That's awesome. How'd yeah. you get into that? Uh, it's something I've kind of always done. I've worked with uh, young people, teenagers, most of my life. Uh, and when I ended up in the city, I uh, ended up with a job that did a lot of that stuff, and I've just rocked with it ever since. Right on, man. Yeah. Already looking better. Look at you, absolutely. man. Absolutely. Huh? Absolutely. New person already. All right, so I just got a majority of the bulk off here. I know this does not look perfect at all, even though that seems to be, I guess, our saying here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but, you know, we're just going to start with our guideline, which I'm going to make perfect, or try to make perfect, as perfect as possible. You're going to be fine. I trust you. Here's your first mistake, man. Oh man, your back, back of your neck can need some sun. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> it hasn't seen it in a while. Sure hasn't. And we're gonna blend the beard into the skin? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Is your wife prepared for this? She is. Saying? She actually, yeah, she's been pushing for this. Oh, okay. She's been pushing for this yeah, haircut. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, so this is a huge change to uh, to go home with. Yeah, no, she's been, uh, she's 100% on board. Good. So I always tell everybody our opinions here mean dick. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to make sure that the, uh, the missus likes it. Yeah. You ever watch that show, uh, Ink Masters? Yeah. Yeah, do you ever see the ones where like they do the tag team? Like they have to switch off tattooing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine if we had to do that with haircutting? You'd be fine with that? Yeah. Oh, I would. I would hate that. If someone did the sides and I did the top, I'd be totally No, but I'm talking like you have. You get. You get. Have you seen the ones where they do it at the same time? On like a guy's yeah. arms. Have you seen that one? That's, That's messed up. Yeah. Like matching tattoo, and they have to meet. That's messed up. All right, so now I'm just gonna put a three guard on. I wanna leave a good amount of weight up here, so I'm just gonna go up a bit right around the uh, parietal ridge and just kind of get some of the good chunking this off and start to fade it out. I think we're good. That's it, thanks for coming in, Ian. Appreciate <laughs> it, you look great. Okay, next step, profile. I'm gonna profile this whole thing out, just leave a little bit of line right at the top. Where do you go in the city to get your hair cut usually? Uh, I usually, ha I had a barber up on the Upper East Side mm -hmm. uh, that I usually go to. Uh, Is he gonna be pissed I'm cutting your hair? Or? Nah. Mm. 
<laughs> the dude's name is actually Adam Sandler. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Isn't that amazing? Well, we got Ben Stiller. No, we got Adam Sandler. We got Ray Romano. Ray Romano. Robin Williams Robin that comes Williams. in here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch. Maury Povich. We don't have a Maury Povich. Yeah, I was like, wait I wish we had a Maury Povich. I wish we had a Maury Povich. What's funny, if we had a Maury Povich, it would probably be Maury Povich. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you gonna do with the new hair, man? <laughs> Celebrate? Uh, I was probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Disney World. <laughs> I'm gonna go buy a hat after this haircut. <laughs> I can retire all of them. So I just hit the whole thing with a uh, half clip and I'm just trying to keep continually working these lines out using the profile going uh, down with the grain. As you switch it up, go against the grain at an angle just to give it that grainy stroke going up. And I'll continually look in the mirror and just see the lines that I need to get out. All right, so as I always talk about, I like to see the shape of the haircut coming back, coming in. So I'm going to start working on the rest of the haircut. I'm definitely going to come back and start working out some of the lines that I see in the skin fade throughout the rest of the haircut. But right now, I just want to get some shape. If I stay in one spot for too long, I'm going to overwork it. And that's the last thing you want to do is just move that line up. Uh, what are you using your hair usually? Uh, so I I haven't used anything in a while. Okay. Um, I have used some of my actually beard brand stuff oh. uh, and just used the utility bomb oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> and thrown it in there uh, when it was shorter. So Utility bomb? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's in the beard or the hair or both? Uh, I've used it for both. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. What scent do you usually? Uh... Uh, Temple Smoke is what I use to go with. Oh, that's your poison? Yeah. How's it looking? I like it actually. I like it quite a bit. I think it's looking great. Good, good, yeah, good. We left yeah. some in the back here. Perfect. We're gonna come back and do some more cleaning up. I just want to start tackling the beard a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a little bit of product we're gonna put in here. Put a little temple smoke in there for you. All right. Excellent. Actually, who's got it better than you, brother? Excellent. All right. So for the beard, you want to take it in on the sides? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna tighten this up a little bit. Yeah. Do you straighten it ever in the morning or anything? I I do. Yeah. Man, look at this thing. Yeah, Holy hell. It's a lot of... It's a lot of beard. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to give this a really good cleanup. So this is your yeard. Yeah, yeah. What made you want to grow it out? Uh, well, one, I, I hate shaving. Yep, that's usually everybody. Uh, and two, I figured, you know, I'd give it a shot. Why not? My wife wasn't a fan of it, but she's come to uh, appreciate it. <laughs> she's learned. She's learned to uh, deal with it. She has. Head up just a bit like that. Thank you so much. We're going to make her a big fan of the beard after this, man. Uh, she will be, yes. Big fan. And you like it kind of natural coming out? Yeah. Okay. Usually line it up yourself? I, I haven't, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a bad job. Oh, that's gonna be our, uh, so, oh yeah. That is, I say it once, say it a thousand times. It's like power washing a deck right there. That was satisfying for everybody. See that in instant replay. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can kind of see down a little bit. Do you yeah. see all this? Yeah. That's part of your neck hair, okay. which we gotta start getting, yeah, you know, cause yeah. we want this to be a nice, clean, clean, clean look here. So we're just gonna take a little bit off the front and just kind of square it off for the back. Perfect. Back just a bit more, perfect.
All right, you see that shape I'm talking about yeah. there? How we still got it nice and boxed out in the front, but it's gonna have some good shape to it. Excellent. So has anyone touched your beard in a year? No. No, this really? This is the first. This is the first. This is the first time. No, dude, what? thank God you didn't tell me that before. That's a lot of <laughs> damn pressure. Are you nervous? No. Oh, okay, good. All right, so when we straighten this out, we're gonna take another look at it. Okay. The thing I definitely wanna focus on, are we doing anything with the mustache? Let me ask you that also. Uh, you know, I sometimes pull it, you know, kind of to the side, but usually it's a little longer. I cut it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, you kind of do so that. So yeah, if you were gonna give it a little shape, yeah. that'd yeah. be perfect, I'll let it grow in. You wanna keep it long though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. so we're just gonna kind of clean up just everything over there. Open your mouth a little bit, I know that's always weird. Much, much cleaner, man. Awesome. All right, let's line you up a little bit, right. and then let's come back and take a look at what else we got to do with the beer, okay? Perfect. So we left the neckline, just in case anybody's wondering what we're doing here, we left the neckline pretty long because you can't really see his neckline. He knows that. He doesn't have to worry about ever doing his neckline. I just wanted a good angle on the side, just in case that somebody does see on the side, it kind of has a nice flow to it. So you can just so you know when our beards touch, that's called Velcroing. <laughs> all right, so some people have different reactions to this. This is gonna have a cooling feeling. Okay. Uh, if it starts to burn at all, it's not a big deal. Just let me know. Okay? All right because I just have to put another um, towel on you. Any burning? Nope. Good. Just relax. Okay. You feeling good about the beard, man? Perfect. How Looks you feeling excellent. overall? You feeling good? Excellent, excellent. Good, yeah. good. All right, so you said you use temple smoke, right? I do. Because we're gonna straighten this beard out. I wanna make sure I got everything right and clean. Um, just so I just shaved you, it's gonna it might sting a little bit because of the salt hitting you. Okay. Uh, usually it doesn't sting you at all, but just so you know. Okay. So we're just gonna put some temple smoke in this. Do you use the sea salt spray at all? You're just using the bomb? I don't, so? I usually use the bomb. Yeah. Okay. Got a nice froth going here. It's gonna be warm, let me know if it gets too hot, okay? All right. Temple Smoke Utility Bomb. Just gonna work it into the whole beard. All right, Ian, talk to me, man. How do you feel? I think it looks excellent, man. Yeah, you like I it? Love it? Yeah. Dude, you're yeah. looking great, man. Uh, I mean, the hair alone. I mean, the beard was just a normal, just clean up, <laughs> yeah. kind of a maintenance thing without getting it touched for a year, which is gonna look really clean and nice now. Yeah. Uh, but the hair, man, that's a difference. It looks excellant. Awesome, really dude. I appreciate it. Ian, thank you so much thank for coming you, in, sir. dude. I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank, yes, you, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you from the Dapper Den Barbershop. We do share something in common. Huh. We're both in the Sigma Chi. <coughs> <coughs> Apparently he <coughs> forgets that we've already had this conversation, but... <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. <coughs> start again? You want to try it? What? You... <coughs> Exit stage right. <coughs> I'm not going anywhere. So I know you're not. Uh, hold on, that went down the wrong pipe. Come back when you're ready. I wasn't actually, you're in Sigma Chi? I'll take a nap. What? <laughs> Dude, we have not had this conversation. We 100% have. Hold on, I'm still trying you to get the... You literally have a guitar with... <laughs> is it here? Is it here? I'm still, still trying to get the gin and tonic out of my lungs. Hey everybody, this is James App from the Dapper Den Barbershop in Richfield, Connecticut. And today we have Nick.
All right, Nick, thanks for coming in today, man. Of uh, you've been a regular client of mine for a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you always, uh, you don't do anything with your hair ever. You just let it grow out. I let it grow I give you as, as long as possible. Yes. Yeah. And then you come in. That's true. Uh, okay. That's very so true. you. We usually go with a skin fade, right? Yep, yep. Okay, so what else, what, what else do you, anything else you want to do differently? Or uh, no, skin, do? Hard part, skin fade, yep. and then the beard, I kind of want it to be kind of tapered a little down. Okay. Uh, I think I don't know if it's a Viking cut or whatever they call it, but I like the length. I'm trying to kind of grow it out a little you bit. You want it more like V down? I want a little bit, yeah, a little bit, like okay. short, almost shorter on the sides a little, Okay. but like kind of longer, yeah. kind of like yours. Um, oh, but yeah, yes. it's very nice. I just got it done today, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. honestly, like that's kind of, like, that's kind of what I like. I don't think we have the same shape. length. Yeah, I know the length is but, a little yeah. bit, right, the yeah. length, but that kind of same shape down a yeah. little bit, yeah. you know, kind of, um, you know, trimmed around here. Yeah, line up the, here, yeah, right, okay, right, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I'm right. kind of here a little bit, but I like the, I'm trying to kind of grow it out a little bit. But you bit. still want that that yeah. Viking thing. So yeah. you're going to have to kind of yeah. cut up closer to the jawline if you're okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, kind okay. of, yeah. That's, awesome. That's fine. I like the length. She wanted it, she, my she, wife, she wanted it a little <laughs> longer over here. So I said, okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll do that. All right, so, cool. So skin right. fade on the top though with the hard part? Yep. Awesome. Yep. Cool. So let's get started on that. Awesome. So Nick, tell the folks at home what you do for a living. I'm a 911 dispatcher. Okay. Yeah. And they're okay with the uh, the beard? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's really not any kind of requirement for it, but I've been getting a lot of compliments on it. Oh, have you? Very, well, very mountain man-ish, you know. Compliments from who? The... The people I work with. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Your wife likes this? She does. Does she yeah, really? She she does, yeah. Does she like it when it's cleaned up, though? Uh, yeah. She always says, every time I come home, she always says it looks totally different. I look like well, a different yeah, person. You do look like a different person. You could have robbed the bank said. right before. This I could have. Yeah. I actually did. The wife wants me to grow it out so that, and as you can tell, there's a lot of gray coming in. She wants to see the gray. She wants the the Santa look. All right. Yeah. Very That's nice. That's her ultimate. Her ultimate goal. It's not mine, but. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I don't know if I could do that. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. Today is a is a um, is a devastating uh, day in the uh, household. Why is that? Well, the dr the uh, crazy wind we had last night mm -hmm. <clears throat> blew over my rabbit hutch. Of course. And the lid popped off. Yes. And the rabbit escaped. Oh, no. So we, I noticed it this morning. We went on a little search party, and we found some fur. So our rabbit is no longer. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, yeah. That's, so uh, it's, it's kind of a devastating uh, how they today. I want to make a lot of jokes, oh. but I'm sorry about your rabbit. I know. It's, yeah, it's, I'm know, sorry about your rabbit. My daughter is like, she goes from crying, and then she says, I want to see it. Where'd she go? You know, so I don't know. She doesn't quite understand it. So we made a mistake when I was growing up. My sister had a whole bunch of rabbits. Oh, yeah? She's a vet now. Huh. And I cut hair. Sweet. So my brother's an engineer. So now, like, I'm just like, yeah. you know, Thanksgiving sucks. <laughs> Thanksgiving's just overall terrible. Um, <laughs> so... They gave us a two male bunnies. Okay. They mistakenly gave us a male and a female. Oh. So we had like 40. Oh, It was man. insane. I Yeah, that's, no, I don't want that. Like you hear people saying like, oh yeah, you know, like reproduce like rabbits and stuff. And then you're like, yeah, they really no, do. but really, they really, they really <laughs> go hard. They know what they're they doing. They don't mess around. They don't mess around. Right. I'm just trying to back up this whole. I don't. So your wife just woke up one day and was like, "I want chickens." She's always wanted a farm, and you just said like, "Yeah, I'm not busy. I, guess. I just work a full time job." I mean, no big deal. You know, I just yeah. do all the work. But um, <laughs> oh, I hope she sees this. I do all the outside work. Okay. okay. <laughs> so basically, what I did is I hit it with the profoil down low. Um, then I hit it with the uh, clip, no guard, open, and then kind of worked my way down and fade it down into a zero. I'm gonna go back and clean some stuff up, and now I just put my one guard on, open, right. and now I'm gonna start moving up into the fade and stuff. Right, what he, oh, said, you what taking, he, what he said. You taking notes? Oh yeah, I'm taking notes right here. It is really long. What does baffle me about this, I, I don't wanna switch gears, I do wanna go back to the whole marriage talk. Yes, I just think yes, that's just yes. funny in general. Yeah. Um, is that you literally 
and we're not doing this for camera's sake right here. We're not saying this no. for camera's sake at all. I've cut you for almost three years, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you literally just don't touch it. I don't. You don't do anything with the beard. You don't line it up yourself. You don't do mm, anything. Nope. That baffles me. I don't touch it. And you're still married. That's just shocking to yep. me as a yeah. human being. I, that's right. She, yep. <laughs> but actually, we go farther back. You knew my brother? I did. I know you your did. family. You yeah. know my family? I do. You don't? I do. Why, what is, is something I coming? I don't really tell people I know your brother. No, okay, yeah, that's fair. You know, that's but there's I mean, actually your a, sister, uh, your mom, dad. I, yeah, I'll tell people that. But. There's a beard brand video oh, of yeah. Jared cutting my brother, that oh, um, my gosh. might be left up here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. What do you think? Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. I don't know. Well, I know you're not it, but I'm saying maybe they might leave the link up here for my brother's haircut. We look nothing alike. Same mother, same father. That's true. I think. <laughs> UPS. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going back to the Still haircut filming. right now. We're getting some deep conversations about life, love, and the universe. Yes. Right now. Uh, mm -hmm. We're getting close for this haircut, man. This is intense. No, I meant, yeah, physically close with this, yes, but also just, I meant emotionally. And Joe, I feel too, very our, our I cameraman. feel very connected, yes. Yes, as do I. Um, <laughs> I'm just using my half clip now, and I'm just going to start closing and opening and just kind of getting these lines out and stuff like that. But, I mean, I guess this is part of the barbershop, just kind of chit-chatting, right? Chit-chatting. This is our life. That's, that's, you know, this is what yeah. you come that in. That and a free beer. That's yeah, I, I guess, here. yes. That's why I work yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> that you get paid in free beer. <laughs> I get paid, yeah, I don't get paid a lot. I get paid in free beer. <laughs> to me, a haircut is, is, a, is a haircut, beard trim, all that, a shave especially. To me, that's a luxury. Yeah. Because like you could, like especially a shave, like you could easily just shave your own face, like right after getting out of the shower. Sure. I used to but do it. there's something special and different about like, Leaning back and having somebody do that. Oh my for gosh! You. Yeah, you get some power. Like to me, like when somebody comes in a customer, you're king when you sit down in the chair. Yes, you're the guy. I fi I go by whatever you tell me to do. Right. right. Whatever you want, I'm gonna do for you. Right. I'm gonna try my best to do for sure. you. Sure. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. I do a good job. Right. But like getting a shave, there's this like this sense of power. Like I got my face shaved. Somebody did it for me. It looks clean. Sure. It's a smooth shave oh, too. Yeah. Obviously. Absolutely. And you know, it keeps us in business. So. Yeah. So now I'm just kind of going back in and trying to get some of these. Some of these lines out, trying to break them up a little bit with the corner of my clipper. See some heavy spots here. My, the way I used to cut my hair, like I, I'm, I would shave it, not like straight raids, but like balding, like balding. Yeah, like balding you do it yourself. clippers. I used to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where'd you take? Just like a clip to I it? I have or? a balding clippers at home that I would just buzz it. I did it one day. I got off work at eleven. I was home by like eleven thirty. I'm in my basement buzzing my hair. Damn. Got right. a little mirror going like this, and it worked out it's fine. But I don't have to worry about anything. I'm just, you know, any spot that looks like hair, I cut. I'm not trying to style right. it or right. anything like that. Just, just haircuts in general. Like, I have guys come to me that have like no hair, mm. and they just want like a straight buzz. But I mean, it's something about sitting in the chair, getting somebody sure. to do it for you. Sure. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know. That's just it's it's an interesting. Well, factor. coming here too. I mean, I love coming here, and you know. You to hang we, out. Joe, we, we talk about the free yeah. beers and whatever, but I like it. It's come here. Yeah. This is my time. This is your day. First yeah. time I came here. Well, I mean, I guess it's the same equivalent of like uh, people getting their nails done. Sure. Yeah. You know, I mean, so you could do your nails yourself. Sure. You could clip your nails. You can do any, whatever. Yeah. But I mean, having somebody do it for you is a nice feeling. So I got the addiction for more tattoos. I, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to get next. What are you feeling? I don't I gotta get the kids' names in there somewhere. I, I, I mean, just, you think? I mean, you. I just you, don't want to like just you, like oh, oh, that's my name. You know, you have like, created. That. You have created that. I get. Yeah, I'm 50, it's fifty percent mine. Yeah. I mean, maybe eighty twenty. I don't know. What do you, What do you have now? How many kids? No, how many tattoos? What oh, just these two. I don't, I don't. I don't care about your kids. You don't care. I don't really care. <laughs> um, just these two. That's it. What is it? Some. Uh, what does that, it look like? Is that railroad? What does it look like? The, rail, the railroad pins. Correct. In a cross. Yes. I, well, I got, I got the cross part. Those are the, the spikes from the cross that crucified Jesus. Very good. Awesome. Uh, like, what, what's the significance of the spikes, though, is what I'm asking. That's, that's, it's in a cross. Yes. And those spikes are what oh, nailed him the to the cross. Okay, I thought we were talking about railroads still. No, no, no. But, I mean, I suppose they do look like that, but. That's what I thought they were. No. Okay. But Mine might, are any better. I have a jackalope and like but a, they might have a been the same. blackjack on one end, and I got a huge thing on my chest. But yeah, nobody I'm covered. You guys just can't see. Them. We don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe somebody wants to see <laughs> it. Yeah, well, probably not. 
The curls, man. Yeah, a lot of curls. Man. Oh, they, a lot it's of curls. So curls. We're gonna pay big money for these curls. I tell you, it's the curly hair that did like like you. It's so hard to keep it. Yeah, you know, when it gets when it get, yeah, yeah, like when it's crazy long, it's just it's like. The other day, I was you know I had it was on my way to work or something. I had the window down. It's a nice day. I had the window down. And I'm like, what is going on? I feel like something's blowing on my head. And I look in the mirror and like my hair is, the curl is like mm -hmm. blowing on in the wind, you know? I'm like, oh, That's how I felt about my beard, dude. I was getting these cowlicks like touching my ear and shit. Oh my uh, gosh, yeah. yeah. Terrible. I mean, like, this is crazy. I mean, it's nuts. do now is that this would look good for a nice square beard obviously we haven't done anything with the sides of the cheeks yet but joe if you want to come over here we're going to do more of an angular beard correct yep yeah yes like that like so that. we're gonna do more of an angular beard now these are great for a couple reasons one it's got a really great shape to it and also it's going to be super easy to maintain so i made my guideline right there at the front i'm going to find the corner of his jaw which is right there i'm just going to angle so basically i'm just getting rid of all of that now i'm kind of at the peak right where that almost meets it I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Let's go. And then just meet up in the middle. This is me just freehanding a bit. Just got a nice, Joe, if you can come over to this side where I'm at, it's not perfect yet. But you see a very nice, nice angle coming straight down from him right there. And while I'm over here, I'll probably clean up this side as well. Uh, so a couple things I see a lot of new barbers, uh, some people hit me up on Instagram occasionally or my apprentice will ask me a lot of times is how to get these lines straight and stuff like that. And the one thing that I see barbers doing is that they'll go in to start their line right here and then they'll kind of keep going like this. You have to take the, the trimmer off of the ear or off the skin completely and kind of push it in deeper. So I'm, I'm very far off right now and then I'm kind of going in and I'm just kind of matching that line. And this is going to get me to get all the hairs that are next to him right now. And now I can go in a little bit more shallow and get all the hairs off. And that goes with long hair if you're, doing a, if you're doing a trim down this side, if you want to get all that, or if you're doing a beard as well. So right now I've still got all these hairs out here. i got to go farther out in order to get all these hairs off. Now I'm going to take a two clip and I'm just going to go down with the grain and just try to tighten up the sides a little bit. Yeah, your wife's going to be pissed. I'm touching the beard. Yeah. They're pissed at you than me. If I get a phone call, man, I'm going to be upset. Yeah, I'm blaming you. And I'm not going in. I'm imagining that the jaw itself is actually extending down. If the jaw were just straight down, that's how I'm doing the clipper. Also, I'm also imagining I'm pulling off as well. All right, so I still have a lot more to do on the beard right now. But before I do anything, I always like to see shape before I start doing anything. So I just want to blend this into the bald real quick and make sure that the fades on each side are good before I start doing anything else. So I pick a spot in the ear. I usually go right below the, uh, I don't remember what this is called, something with a C. We had to learn it for our test. I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, if you know the name of this part right here, please leave that in the comments, whatever the name of this part of the ear is, please. Thank you. So I go right below that, stretch the skin out all the way open, and then I start closing it a little bit until I get to an absolute zero. Then leave it open. Good 
that your phone going off or are you tapping that? That's me tapping to okay, the song. So. <laughs> I was like, is that your phone going off? Oh, you're starting to look human again, man. It's crazy. Yeah, you're starting to look real you're human. Like, who's again. that guy? Who's that sexy guy? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so now that we. Can I do you? All right, so now that we have done, I've got some overall shape going on with the beard right now. Now I'm going to go in and start freehanding and just really start tightening things up. I can see this side's already a little bit longer and everything, but let's start tightening it up. So the funny thing about freehanding for me is that I actually learned how to freehand by, this is weird because not many people know this, I actually learned how to freehand by watching Mahesh cut on Beard Brand. Um, I think it must have been maybe four or five years ago. Uh, if you are familiar with the Beard Brand channel, Mahesh is one of like the main barbers on the channel. And uh, I was watching him, he was talking about freehanding a beard and I just love the way it came out. And he talked about how not only is it, is it beneficial for you to be able to see what you need to cut, but it's also beneficial for the client because the client is actually seeing what's happening as you're freehanding it. However, the problem with freehanding is that it's very easy to screw up. If you go in too hard, you're gonna leave a very big mark in there and you're gonna have to wind up taking the beard a little bit lower. But I do love freehanding a beard because it just looks so clean at the end. And we want the mustache, so we're just gonna go regular mustache off a lip. I think so. I mean, I like the, the handlebars, but. I mean, we can do it, but if, you, if you're complaining about it getting in like your beer and your coffee and everything like that, especially eating a sandwich, like I'm aware of that. Uh, yeah, but... it's kind of a pain. Yeah. I, if I did it all the time, I'd yeah. be like, yeah, definitely leave it. Yeah. But I don't, I, you know, and I don't, I go, to, I go to work and I do it yeah. normal way. Let's take, care of, it, Let's take, Let's care, take of care of it then. Let's take care of it. Let's take care of it. Make sure all our neck junk is gone. So yeah, now that that's gone, what happens is that this all grows out at the same time. So your yeah. neck hair is the same length as your chin hair, so right. it's all gonna grow out in an even keel. Yeah, I like Which that's, looks yeah. very, very clean. Yep, yep, that's, that's exactly All right, what let's line you up real quick with the blade. Sure. And then let's uh, see how it looks at the end. Sure. I love it. I okay, love yeah, I was gonna ask you how you feel. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, I don't even need to, I love it. Really? I love it. Totally, like it? Good. it's a total different, I love it. I mean, dude, you look thinner as hell. It's, That's the first thing, I mean, you look very, very clean right like now. It's like exactly, yep, it's perfect. You're perfect, man. I, I can't, it's, the artist is as good as I can't argue, can't canvas, argue with that. Great <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well Nick, thank you so much for coming thank in, dude. I always appreciate, I appreciate it. Always it, great seeing you, man. Thank you so much from the Dapper Den Barbershop, appreciate it. Take care. Hi, I'm James App at the Dapper Den Barbershop here in Richfield, Connecticut, and today we have Anthony, my favorite bar and barbershop. All right, Anthony, what are we doing today? 
So last time we were here, um, mm -hmm. you talked about doing a, a tighter on the bottom. So like maybe a zero to one fade or blend up to, uh, yeah, up to okay. high and tight all around. How high? And, um, you know, uh, as high as you think. Okay. I'm gonna leave it up to you because you're right. you're the guy. Okay. <laughs> Fooled your ass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, so basically we're going to disinfect our clippers now for like... 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. He's learning. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to start with a one, because you said you wanted a one up here. Yep. So we're going to do a yep, zero yep, down yep, here. Yep. So I'm going to okay. use a one. This is the Speedo guide. This is the red Speedo guide. I just like it. It's a little bit tighter than a one, I think. So I'm going to establish my top line first. Also notice no key ring involved mm. in this. <laughs> what kind of guy would have a key ring on there? Okay, you can't talk. Stop it. <laughs> Stop the video. All right, so I'm just establishing my top line right now with a one speedo guide. It's a little bit tighter than a one, I think, but I think that's always a better look. I'm just going around the whole head. I'm gonna come back to this part and talk about that in just a second. Then I just go back over, just make sure I got everything off the head on the one. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to a zero right now, which is just gonna be my clip closed. I also use this magic clip by wall because it's got this, what is it, beveled? Uh, no, it's beveled. Beveled or jagged? And, uh, uh, staggered teeth. Staggered teeth, so which I like a lot. So it kind of just tape. tapers it out at the same time, which is gonna help me for the line and everything I need to make. He said he wanted it high and tight, so we're gonna go pretty, yep. pretty high with that. So it's kind of hard. Again, I'm gonna go back over with the zero now and just make sure I got everything. But you can tell because of his salt and pepper that he's got here, it's gonna be kind of hard to see the contrast that's gonna be going on from this one to a zero. You can see there's a bit of a line in there, and we're gonna kind of massage that out and get rid of the line. But it's gonna be a very, very, very gradual, gradual blend fade however you want to say it or whatever but again I'm going back over it just making sure I got everything okay so now that we got the zero established and then the one top line established I'm gonna try to blend this in I kind of use a half guard but I actually switch to my Andis zero clip and I make my wall fully open so this is just gonna kind of taper that out just a little bit more kind of massaging this line out right now. You can hear it just clipping some stuff off. I don't know if you can catch that on the camera, but. One thing I like to do when I'm cutting is I like to keep moving. I don't want to stay in one spot and just keep going at it and going at it and going at it because I'll drive myself insane trying to get it to blend the way I want it to. So I keep moving and I can come back and look at it again and maybe get it back on the second try. Okay, so I just talked to Anthony here, and then we're not liking the contrast. You can already see there's still a line in there, but you can see that it's not much of a contrast between the zero and the one. So I'm gonna suggest to him, I wanna go skin, if that's okay with you, which would cause a absolutely. much more dramatic yep. fade, and it would be a lot cleaner looking, okay with that. You want? You okay with that? Yep, absolutely. All right, cool. So now we're gonna start our skin fade now. And I'm just gonna start my line with my, I use this, just a Babyliss Pro. You can change the speeds on it and stuff like that. I usually just use that for kids if I have to, but this, just my, kind of like my T outliner. I'm just gonna kind of make my line and just kind of scrape down to get the hairs off. It's coming right to the same side, same part on the other side of the head. Okay, so you can kind of see I kind of established a bit of a line with that T liner because it already took it down to the zero, but now I'm gonna use the Pro Foil and establish a better line. So I'm pulling the skin up. Give myself a little bit of space right here. I'm pulling the skin up because this is pulling the follicles out of the skin right now, the hair follicle out of the skin for the four. Again, just go back over it really quick. Make sure I got all the stuff off the back of the head before I go on. Start my fade. 
Because now that I've established this with the profoil, I'm going to take this and try to get rid of this bottom line right now. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to pull the, the head, I'm um, sorry, pull the skin taut. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pull your head, skin, whatever the hell I'm pulling on you right now. And I'm going to kind of go flush with this. You can barely just hear it cutting. It's kind of just getting rid of that bottom line. I still got more stuff to do on it to get rid of it. I'm gonna go back over, just make sure I got all the bits. See, he's got some dry skin here too, so we gotta be careful of that irritation when we're doing this. Okay, so now I'm switching over to a wall uh, senior right now, cordless. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because of the beveled and the jagged tooth on the wall magic clip, it tends to pull a lot when I'm having it just open and no guard on it. So I'm using this with no guard open. I'm going to start to get rid of the top line as well. So you can see this starting to blend. So that line just going away a bit. Again, going right back over it, just making sure I didn't miss anything on that line. Come in at different angles. Make sure I get all the hairs off. Okay, so now moving back to my Andis Profoil to try to really get out this bottom line. So we got it out with the T-liner pretty well, but I still don't like it because you can still see some darkness right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking this, again, stretching the skin like we did before, and I'm just gonna kind of pull until I hear that. You can hear it kind of cutting. Kind of going a little bit softer over here where he's got some dry skin. Don't irritate him too much. See it getting out. So now I'm taking the profile, I'm still gonna keep it here, but now I'm gonna come down with the grain at somewhat of an angle. Okay, so I just finished up the fade right now. I went all around the sides. I kept touching stuff up, touching stuff up I didn't like. So one thing I do want to talk about, if you want to come over here, Jared, move the camera. Good. Right here, a lot of people don't cut this part off. However, because his hair is thinning, I'm sorry, it's, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, yeah. I, know. Um, I didn't want to be the bearer of bad news. Mm. But because it was thinning, I needed to go up into this or else it was going to look really weird and thin and there's going to be parts spiking up and everything. Now that is my personal opinion on the thing. Other people are going to have different opinions on that. But more importantly, I just care what he thinks. I showed him already, right? You saw it, you liked yep. it. Good, Definitely. excellent. So now I'm going to take my thinning shears right now and just go into his head and just kind of blend out some of this stuff right here that I don't like that's got a little bit of uh, chunkiness that's got into it. So now you can see it's a really nice blend fade going up into that. Now I'm just double checking it. It's not really cross checking it, but I'm pushing the hair this way to make sure it's okay. And then I'm gonna push the hair this way to make sure there's still no blotchiness. Like I already pushed it that way because he rocks it forward. You have to use product too, right? Uh, no, not you don't use hair. any product in your no, hair. No. Okay, cool. We're gonna try some stuff on you if that's alright. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Cool. Just give this hair a little more texture to it. To make yeah, it please. Not as anything you can make it look fuller. <laughs> yes, I'm touching the crown right now. Everybody, just chill out, okay? I know that's like a big thing. Like, don't touch the crown right now. I'm not listening to Wonderwall. Okay, so we finished up the haircut now. Anthony, you satisfied with it? Yeah, good, it's great. Man. I, I think skin it. was Thank the way you. to go, man. Yeah, I'm really definitely. happy that we changed that definitely. from one because it wasn't yep. gonna be dramatic enough of a fade definitely. out. Definitely, I love it, looks good. So what are we gonna do with the beard now? Number one, I'm definitely gonna blend that in if that's okay. Exactly. Yeah, I'd love to blend that in a little bit more. Okay, good, yeah. To match a little bit more, it's not to match, yeah, yeah, to match the, uh, <laughs> yeah, to match skin. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then take the feathers off a little bit. I like to keep that a little bit tight. Okay, you want tighter on the sides? I'd like to keep the length, just clean it up, keep the mustache, maybe just even it off. Okay. Because uh, I, I think you it's curl a little it bit, up. Yeah, I curl it up. I, I curl like it straight up like this. Well, I curl it up, and I like to. I like to be able to do both. I'd like to be able you know, to do both on that. Yeah, yeah, like okay, a walrus, so you, and then a and then a, and a curl. A walrus, up. Yeah. yeah. So last time I think we kind of went into here. Yeah. Do you want to? Do you definitely. like that? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Do that. So we're gonna bring this into that. Okay. Yeah. Cool, we're gonna take some length off of here and we're kinda just gonna Yeah. Not gonna so much square it off. You still like the point down here? Yeah, I do. So we're gonna go to the V shape down here. We're just gonna yeah. take some of the sides off and yeah, really kinda definitely. tighten it up. Yep. Good. Sounds so good. That's gonna be a nice like juxtaposition with yeah. the round head that you have now and kinda like a sharper Yep. Line. Absolutely. Okay, Looks cool. Good. Okay, Thanks. cool. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go with the grain on his beard. The blend's kinda be the last thing I do after I get the whole beard shape set up. 
So right now I'm gonna take a five because I don't know how much length it's gonna take off. So I'm gonna go long with it. I'm gonna go with the grain and listen to how much it takes off. So that took a good amount. Let's tighten that whole thing up. I'm not going flush with his face. So take, I'm kind of going, kind of pulling off when I get there. You can see it's already kind of shaping itself a bit more. All those feathers mm -hmm. are kind of gone. Yeah. It's almost even taking more shape against the jaw right now. And then as I get out, I'm kind of angling my clipper to leave more length in the front. You do the same thing on the other side. Yeah. Is that tight enough or you want to go tighter? I want to go tighter over here. You want to go tighter over yeah, there? Yeah, I'd like to go t I'd like to say maybe like the jaw line just to keep it at the jaw. So I'm going to use my awesome beard brand comb. <laughs> You focused in on that, Jared? Or mine? Yes. Oh, you have one on you? Oh. Or mine? Do you really have one on you? Shut up! You have one on you. Amazing. Yes. Or mine? We got the big one, and it's a uh, thing. I'm overcompensating, obviously, yeah, for know. something. So I don't need to compensate. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> My beard size is what I'm compensating yeah. for. So I'm just gonna kind of kick this out just a bit, just get rid of these feathers that he doesn't like. And I'm also probably gonna shear into this as well to get rid yeah. of some of the weight. Because he wants more of the feather kind of stuff off, I'm pushing in a little bit more. So I'm gonna shear, you can see this right here, it's kind of thick. I'm gonna shear into that. It's gonna get rid of some of the stuff. It's like burp yeah, on yeah. the back of your head. Perfect, Very yeah. professional. So right now I'm gonna kind of shape it up in terms of he wants the tight line on his beard. I like to freehand all of this. That's just my preference. It's always worked for me. A lot of guys like to use a comb. I will use a comb if I really can't get it on a line. But for the most part, I really enjoy freehanding it because I just think it works better for me. So for this, I'm just going to kind of get these little straggle bits off just a bit. Just the ends. Bring it down to that point. Okay, now right here, you can see all these straggle bits. I want a hard line like that. So I'm just going to kind of move his head just a bit. And just go in. You see all this stuff underneath here? This is the big pain in the ass with beards. Because all this is gonna grow longer than the hair on the top of the chin. So you gotta cut that down short so this can catch up with it and it looks more even. In my personal opinion, everybody's got different opinions, can't wait for the comments. I'm kidding, I can wait for the comments. <laughs> They'll be there next week. So I kind of got a line. I'm going to follow my guideline that I got here. He wants to keep that point going. And you can see also his hair is growing in this direction right now. So if I kind of go like this, it's really not going to take off anything. If I kind of come across with him, it'll leave that point. Again, I'm always kind of going back and looking to make sure I'm even. I'll take a step back, I'll look at the overall picture right now, make sure, because I'm always up close to it, I just want to make sure I'm getting everything here. So now I want to get rid of some of this stuff, we're going to thin it out just a little bit, not thin it out, I'm sorry, just kind of shape it more. So I'm just going to kind of push it as much as I can over this way, and just follow the line up. Let's see, I left this here, so I'll get all that, try not to. So I'm gonna make this a little bit tighter for myself. So when I start to blend it, it's gonna look a little bit better. I usually go right to the top of the ear. And that's gonna help me when I go back to my blending. We do the same thing on the other side. I'm always kind of double checking. Like right now I can see some stuff that I missed down here. Pick your head up just a bit. Gotta get all this kind of chunkiness out of the bottom of his beard. Okay, so now I'm just gonna bring his head back so I can kind of get underneath the beard and check out his neckline and everything. You comfortable? Yeah, absolutely. So now I can see all this stuff that I missed. You see all these straggle bits and stuff? I call them straggle bits. I don't know what you would call them, but I think straggle bits works. You like straggle bits? Yeah, sounds great. Snaggle teeth. Snaggle teeth, yeah. <laughs>
So now we're gonna do a blend of the beard into the skin. Now I find this kind of difficult, but you know, we're gonna try to work through as much as possible. So now I took a two guard because I need to get this to skin. So I've gotta go down a bit, but I don't wanna go down too much where it brings his beard sideburn down to here and you look ridiculous. ridiculous. Exactly. So I'm gonna start very, very high up. I'm not going flush. I'm pulling it off a little bit just till I hear some stuff go off. And then I'm kind of pushing it in a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm very, very cautious this whole thing because you don't want to bring the beard too low. Same thing on the other side. All right, so now I'm gonna drop down a size. So now I'm going down to the one. I'm going it fully open, which I think is closer to a two. There's a lot of debates about whether this is a half, a one. I know somebody's gonna say in the comment section, it's a one, it's a half, I, whatever. I use it as a one because that helps me with my stuff right now. So Three I'm inches, four open. inches, they can't tell. It's a game of inches. <laughs> yeah, I just gotta tell them whatever they wanna hear. So again, I'm going from the same spot, keeping it open a little bit, and then very, 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 very gently, kind of moving it in. You can already see it's kind of taking its shape a bit more. Now, same thing, closed. Going a little bit higher now. Again, some people don't take all these steps. I do it, I prefer to be more cautious about it. If it takes me a little extra time, five minutes, 10 minutes, that's fine. I'd rather have him leave with a good cut than leave with me really rushed it and then bring his sideburns down or he's way too high off in the sideburns. So now as you can guess it, I'm gonna go open. Again, I'm using my senior on this because of the um, the beveled blade and the jagged teeth on the wall magic clip. It's probably gonna pull on him. I've noticed that with a lot of mine. It might just be my blade, but I don't wanna pull on this because this is gonna hurt your face. But that's not what you came here for, right? I like pain. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, so the same thing. We're just gonna kinda go, we're pretty high up now. Just getting that top part out. Okay, so now that I kind of blended it to a point that I like without going up too high or bringing the sideburns down low, I am going to use a comb now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it flush, because that's flush there. And I'm just going to bring it out until that last hair touches. And just scrape that off. Same thing on this side. That's flush. I'm just going to bring it out until that last hair. Now using my handy dandy uh, beard brand comb, we're going to, uh, I'm gonna switch it over to the mustache part right now. Because he likes to wear it up, he's finding some difficulty getting some of just the mustache hairs up. So this is a problem that a lot of people have. I have it myself. So what we do here is we kind of pull the mustache up to just about middle of the lip. And you can see that line right there. All we're gonna do is just tap into that. So that's just gonna make his mustache easier to curl. You can't see that line because your mustache is enormous right now and you look like a walrus. Uh, okay, so right now we got Anthony in a hot towel just kind of opening up his pores. You okay? Yeah. Good, excellent. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna take my time over here and I'm gonna start making my lather. So right now I'm just putting hot water into my mug and heating up my brush. Just kind of rub that in there. Get a good lather going. I take the hot water in the cup, I pour a bit of it out. Put very, 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 very little in there. It's important to use hot water, I think, because the hot is going to open up the pores more. It's going to give less irritation to his face. And I always get the forehead just so it cleans out the pores. I'm not shaving your forehead. Thank God. Yeah. No hair there. Got hair everywhere head. else on your hand body. <laughs> exactly. So something to be cautious about right now that I'm noticing. Yeah. You got a bit of a blemish right there. So I'm gonna be super careful going over that so I don't cut it. So again, same thing as we did with the skin fade. We're stretching the skin. It's fine as line touching it, especially right up here. If I wanna get fancy, let's make sure I got all that up there. Is that really being fancy, I guess? It's just kind of doing my job, isn't it? For this part, because I'm right-handed, I always do a backhand stroke, so I just flip the blade over like this. Just go with the grain. 
Again, stretching the skin as much as possible. How you feeling, Anthony? All right? Excellent. Good. So we finished up the shave. I did do a little more blending on the beard right now, so it's kind of more scruffy into the bald right now than down to there. So right now, it's not looking like much, but we are gonna put some product and everything in it. So first we're gonna use some uh, Beard Brand Sea Salt Spray. Is that focused? Yeah? Good, so I really like this stuff because it adds a lot of texture to it. And then we're gonna straighten it out. Get our round brush. I like a concentrator on it. It's just gonna help me you know, straighten it out. So what our goal is, is just trying to get this completely straight, get the mustache out of the lid. We're hitting with about medium heat right now. Pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. Get all those, get underneath it. Curl it, curl it, and switch to cold. Now for the mustache, before we go and finish off the styling, it's great that we put this line in here now because I can get the rest of the mustache without having to work it and force it against the beard. Same thing, we're gonna hit medium heat, but we're gonna curl it out like this at the same time. So let me know if that's too hot in here, okay? a lot better already, see how straight that is? Mm, it's a stab in the cheek with my <laughs> razor. You didn't get it. You want us to wax the mustache too? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Cool. So we're gonna use some styling balm. Temple smoke, I like that. It's nice. I love that one. It's about that much. He's got a pretty thick beard. I'll also use some of it in the mustache too to help me out with the waxing. To warm it up in my hands a little bit first and just kind of push it the way I want it to go. What's the look you're going for exactly? I don't even know what you call it. We could do this, we could do the Vanderbilt, we can do uh, hmm. curly Q. The curly Q, I don't think I have enough for the curly Q right now. You can see that's got a bit of a nice blend to it. So now we're just going to add some wax to it. Like the gentle curve right now, but you know, the Vanderbilt. So I do use actually some of this too. We got a lot of sense. I actually like the combination of four vices and um, the temple smoke. I think it's good. Yeah. So I'm going to start with this, which is great. It's almost like a chapstick. So I'm going to start with this to get it out here. But first, I'm going to warm it up. All right. So we're just going to kind of use this to get this out of its way first. Garbage. Almost pokes me in the eye. Looks nice. 
I don't know, that looks really nice. Yeah, I like, I like that. Yeah, yeah that's good. Pretty dapper. Hot. <laughs> mm. Bomb in there too. Very good. What do you think, man? Excellent. I love it. You like it? Looks great, man. Excellent. Excellent. Great cut. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. This is great. Yeah. Thank you. This is James App at the Dapper Den Barbershop in Richfield, Connecticut, and today I'm going to be trimming my boss's beard. I've cut right. your beard before, right? Uh, but you want to do something a little bit different today? Oh, uh, it's been it's been probably like a year of growth. Okay. And uh, you know, I trimmed it down recently. Um, I didn't straighten it out today. I didn't put anything in it. Uh, I took off probably about an inch or two. But I'm thinking about just going short for the summer and then I'm gonna regrow for the fall. So I want something like really tight on the sides, somewhat of a Viking point, rounded. So you're okay with the Viking? You're okay with it being short up by the jawline? Yeah, I want I want it really then coming out low longer. maintenance on the side, yeah. a little bit of man in the front. A little bit of man in the front. Little okay. like, you know, party in the front, business in the rear type of beard, you know where I don't have to worry about it. You know, obviously we wear collar shirts. Um, you know, it's a pain in the butt um, with the collar. Mm -hmm. You know, this, obviously I was growing long where this is very heavy up top. Yep, okay. Just do your magic. Okay, and you want me to just take all this off too, right? Yeah, I mean, less apostle looking. Okay. What's great about Jared um, having this kind of hair is it lets us actually practice doing designs in his head too. Oh my God. Um, so like TJ, if you wanna come over here, like if we were to do a design real quick, we could just practice by doing like a, cause it doesn't matter, we're taking this down to skin anyway. You just kind of practice getting your idea of lines down. That's a star, obviously. And just kind of when kids come in and they want something like that, we can just practice it. So it's always great to have a, a Bulby in the shop. All right, so now I'm using a Babilis, uh Pro Pro Foil. This thing's phenomenal. I'm just going to kind of start taking off the rest of his hair. This was actually the first haircut I ever did ever was on Jared. He let me do this to just get used to the feel of how to hold something. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wall senior here. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a wall magic clip. Actually, I apologize. With a two guard on it. And I'm just gonna go down with the grain on this just to get a majority of the bulk off of his beard, which is gonna help me find some lines too. All right, you nervous? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. So when I'm doing this, I'm kind of feeling the jaw and I'm not going completely down. I'm kind of almost pulling off right here. And then I'm angling the clipper this way, kind of straight out from his face. So it's almost kind of fading it throughout the whole beard. Looks better already. You're <laughs> So I'm gonna take off a good amount off the front, just so because he wants it more, a little more maintenance, a little more low maintenance, low maintenance, sir. Hmm. All right, I changed my mind. Oh, oh, it's too late now. Put it back. All right, so now we got that line established. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna find his jawbone to make this more angular as a Viking type style beard. So I'm gonna kind of comb it this way and find where my guideline meets his jawline. Where's your jawline? Do you have a jaw? Ready? Mm.
nice. So you can already see, TJ, if you want to come on this side a little bit, you can already see how this is kind of elongating it because you're kind of going right from the corner of that jawline. We want to take that and just meet up in the center right now. How do you feel? I feel thinner. No, that's not. The no, camera it's not adds the 10 pounds. Oh, all right. Pounds, okay. so. I see a lot of guys on um, on YouTube use a uh, clipper, like a magic clip or a, a Babilis effects or something like that. This is just, Charles and I had a uh, conversation about this yesterday about why I prefer using this. I don't know. This has just always been more comfortable for me to use. I feel more comfortable using it. Probably a wider base might be easier, but this is probably just lighter in my hand. It fits in my hand better, so I'm just gonna use it. All right. <laughs> All right, so I got a good base for what I want with the beard right now. Now I'm gonna start working on the sides a little bit and start kind of really tightening everything up. So I'm gonna take my uh, magic clip. I'm gonna stretch his skin and I'm gonna go about maybe halfway to the uh, ear right here with the clip open. And I'm gonna close it up a bit. So I'm at a zero. I'll do the same thing on the other side now. I always have a problem in the corners there because of the um, corona. Yes. Yes, because of the corona, because of the light spot here and here, and then I got the stripes. So like when I try to blend, it's a little confusing to me. Obviously, yep. this is the way I like to blend. I like to do that half first, and then put a one guard on, and I just go with the grain, just till I hear it start to cut. I'm pulling off too. Now this helps me establish a guideline for myself. So when I go to this, which I turn on my clippers. <laughs> so now when I take the comb and I push it flat against his head, pull out just enough. Oh. It's starting to blend nicely, huh? What's going on, man? You want to go tighter? Mm -hmm. You want to go tighter than that? Mm -hmm. Down here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go for it. Yeah, you got it. You're the boss. Sometimes. My boss is at work right now. So we're just following through with the comb, using that as our guide. Again, I'm just doing this. I'm gonna hit this with a razor, so I just want to get a majority of the bulk off, just to help me. And I'm gonna line definitely the lines with the razor.
The last thing I'm gonna do before um, I'm just gonna talk to myself. Talk to myself before the camera starts. Is just thin this out. He's got a thick, thick, thick beard. So I'm just gonna kind of hit these corners here, or the tips, and just kind of get some of the weight out for him, so it's not bothering him too much. This is where he starts to get nervous. Mm. Now it looks good. Beard was going fine until <laughs> the scissors came out. I can already feel the weight coming out of it as I'm combing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that must feel better. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to be using the Temple Smoke today. Let's keep his beard down. And the great thing about this Viking beard that's yeah. styling it. That's forms. just it just yeah, forms right itself away. because of the jawline. And that's what I was talking about. I wanted that low maintenance on the side. Yeah. And then I just put a little product in and call it a day. That's it. That's all you have to do for it. Looking good, dude. How do you feel? You look thinner. I don't feel thinner. No, but, no um, that's your diet. But yes. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I gotta say. How do you feel? I, I feel like I should give you a raise, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, but otherwise, good good cut. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Very nice. Thank you from the Dapper Dem. Appreciate it. Beard brand, this is my father. Father. He's got a cigar and a drill. <laughs> Thank you. This is a classic. You need to get this. Mm -hmm. That's a classic. All right. Nobody knows what you're saying. You're old. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I'm going back to you. Uh, go do what? You're retired. What do you have to do? <laughs> I gotta go take a nap. <laughs> I, have go, I have to go sleep. <laughs> Look both ways before crossing the street, Stick. What's up, Beard Brand? My name's Charlie. I'm here at the Dapper Den, and today I'm gonna be cutting James the Barber. Uh, so I want to do like I like the uh, the squared off. Part okay, up here. so kind of keep keep weight through here. Keep weight through there. Cool. Uh, hard part. Right. Um, a zero down here, and okay. whatever you want to go up to, a two and a half or a three or anything like right. that. Whatever so you, you definitely want, want this to be darker through here. Yeah, up through there. So I'm um, nothing off the top really. Alright. Uh, just kind of blend it in. Um, if you want to take off light, some of the light trim, ends. light trim. Yeah. Yep, nothing too worried about cool. that. And the beard. Um, take it in on the sides, and I trust. The only thing I want to do is leave the mustache, but I completely trust everything that you do. I don't want to take too much length off, but. You right. can do your stuff on that. Cool. I like to start on the side opposite the part, just just my kind of go-to. That's Kramer hair. Yeah, dude, the top's out of control. There's right a lot of product. I'm gonna take my uh, my two open and just bring it right up to here and pull off. Because like he said, he wants um, you know that darker kind of like squared out look up top. So I tend to like to scissor into that. And I just follow this line right around the head. James has a lot of hair, it's very dense. So I'm gonna keep that crown and just pull off right kind of when I feel like the top of that occipital bone. You can take off the crown if you want. Nah. I'll take it off. Nah. Not today. <laughs> oh man. So uh, for those who don't know, now you know. According to the state of Connecticut, James was my apprentice at one point. Yep. So uh, I, go. I taught him everything good he knows and everything bad he knows uh, Jared taught him. So. <laughs> and with James's hair, you kind of got to come in at all different angles. He has um, very dark, thick, textured hair. Uh, but you can see like some parts are a little blotchy, which makes for a rougher fade. But... With the right hand motions and movements, you'll see when I go uh, a little lower, you can blend that right out. You're blotchy. <laughs> because he wants a zero taper, I don't want to stay too low with the one, but because I also want to keep that darkness, I don't want to go too high. So I'm thinking like a mid one, keep it right under this temple line, and just soft, kind of quick C motions almost start a little bit of a freehand fade. 
All right, so for that, I'm going to be done with my uh, my one closed. And uh, you can see there's an even even line all the way around. I dipped it in the back just because it's just the shape of his head, you see. kind of pulls off. And I came right around here. So now I'm going to pop it completely open and try to get rid of this line. Nah, I ain't going to try. We're going to do it. <laughs> to me, I almost like... I feel like super content when a fade looks, uh, when you're looking at it, it kind of looks blurry just because it's so cleanly, you know, gradual. That's the word I was looking for. I always use a mirror as uh, just kind of my friend, honestly. Uh, I talk to myself and. Uh, <laughs> no, um, <laughs> but no, you honestly, like, looking at it, you're going to see the cut in a different perspective when you spin your client. And look at it from a distance in the mirror. It also helped a lot when I was um, apprenticing under you and you used to cut my hair. I used to learn a lot. By well, that's the thing, man. Like I said, my, my childhood barber, like I, I would watch when I was in the chair. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that's the thing I love about this industry is like the people that aren't afraid to share their knowledge and like help build people up. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, that just what goes around comes around and. It's all about helping one another. And there's enough hair to go around, man. Throws back. Yeah, exactly. Dark line. Come with the corner blade, corner teeth, and just you can hear it. Just little, little, little bit. Softly blending that. We finished this one. As you can see, it's pretty consistent around the head um, and faded out. So now it's time for me to go to the zero and fade out. I'm start like right about here. I'm just lightly. Don't want to come too high. Just very. You just kind of massage it into the head and pull off as you do it, because zero, uh, the zero lines can also be hard to to get out. I came through and I worked out that zero with the half right into the one, and that looks pretty smooth to me. We're going to worry about this blending later, but yeah, for now, that I'm cool with that. And we're going to flip them around, and you notice as I went along, I kind of, I'm going to pop my uh, half guard back off again, and um, I kind of use guidelines. like. Start right there, you can kind of see where the beard starts, and then uh, close it all the way. And I use this as a guide. You can't be afraid to go in with your zero, but at the same time, you don't want to overdo it and overstep that line. Uh, I'm going to throw my half guard back on, which also is another kind of just a little cheater, uh, game changer is that, that half guard. And as I said, his hair grows in this direction so I'm gonna use the corner of that blade with the guard on and I really do love this zero taper look um, when there's weight to be um, cut into the finished product super gradual and it's a little time consuming but it's fun cut to do. It's challenging. I like it. on your toes. Depending on the client, it depends on you know whether I'll just go right into the beard or if I'm going to work with this for James because I'm going to uh, not do too too much on the top and I'm going to kind of scissor in uh, with both thinning shears and regular shears. I'm going to start through here uh, before I go to the beard. I'm going to start working with uh, my Hanzo uh, thinning shears or texturizers and uh, I just look for the line, and I just kind of come in. I don't like to overdo it, honestly, just pick your ends, so that it softens up and makes it easier when I actually turn it with my scissor work, and this is just where I put Once the hair is wet, you can really see it breaks down the line. Like. 
now that the hair is evenly. Oh, there's some water. I'm gonna just work this line a bit. I'm gonna keep, so his right here, I like this weight. Off, it's gonna look like a kick it, uh, kick it straight back. Yeah, it kicks it backwards. So I'm gonna kind of comb it the way that it's gonna be uh, styled. And this is the comb. Just really lightly. So you prefer scissor over the shower? Yeah, and this is I very, like, I always say very, like, minimal. Uh, like, in terms of blending, like, scissors into your your clipper work. I like to go very minimal. Uh, I don't think it should be like something that you know, so drastic like you know, create, create lines that you work to get rid of. I'm, I'm coming out and pulling the comb to, to create that squared off look with the weight that you want. I'm gonna hold it up and just see. Literally, and with James, like sometimes I'll comb the hair straight down and establish my guy with that. But James is very good. Cool. And I'm just gonna drag that back and follow that guideline. Are you over directing it there? Um, I mean, no, I'm just kind of combing it all back into the next section. Okay. And as I come back to this back area, I do want to make sure that I'm keeping the crown. No, just keeping weight, <laughs> keeping weight so it doesn't stand up. Because the back area can really, like, dude, you can have a great cut and then the back stand up and it's like you got to rework the whole cut. Mm -hmm. And then to go back in and cross check, I'm actually going to cross check uh, clip rubber, or scissor over comb. Um, real quick and just come in and I start in the back and I'm gonna come up hold it and just see that it's all even see it's all coming to the same same peak all right dude so I mean as you can see just that little bit kind of came the way that it's gonna um, ultimately lie and I think it's time to put in the hard part and line up the sides before we get into the beard. So now I actually I have my uh, my Babilis, uh the Gold FX. It's my favorite uh, trimmer. I've actually dropped every other trimmer that I was using just for this guy. Um, and I comb all the hair down. And when you lay it down, you kind of just come against it. And I like to just push with my thumb and keep it steady with my front three finger, or front, yeah, front three fingers. And I actually use my index finger as a guard against his head. I'm just, you want to draw it on. So I did that side. I lined up that side. And now for the temple. Um, Again, comb it forward, and I've gotten to the point where I can only just freehand it on there. But you don't want to cut too far into their natural hairline so that it doesn't grow out uh, all spotty. And when you keep it more natural but sharp, it gives the client actually like another week or so um, onto their haircut transitioning from here down um, I already tapered it so I'm gonna take this which is actually I zero gapped it um, just kind of come up like I said his hairline starts right there so bring this up and just pull off initially uh, my first step in the beard uh, is always just blending um, I like to Going with my half, because that is a given. You're gonna have a line between the zero and the half, and or whatever other clipper. So you really just want to go like I'm gonna go half, and then I'm gonna flip them around, take off as little as possible while creating a blend. 
And then I'm gonna pop this off, go down to my one. Come up. Scoop. C motion. C motion. Scoop C up. Charles. That's my name. And then opened. Kind of freehand that. Get the flyaways. And then kind of work my way in. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side so that I know it's even. When I hop from side to side, um, I'm using uh, guidelines like within the ear. I know the ears aren't completely even, but um, it tends to it tends to work for me. I kind of base on this. You know, this is where I want to start my one. I'm just coming up the corner. And one thing I did teach James is the uh, clipper over comb technique. Yeah, on the with sides, the sides with of the, the blending. It, it's uh, phenomenal every time. Yeah, it really does make a big difference. Um, so I worked my way down to a tip. Uh, that will give me enough leeway with uh, this clipper over comb technique in order to just really get it all. So what I do is I comb it out. I'm in and I rest the comb against the head so it's kind of coming off and but it's flat against the head and I just kind of you can hear it and I'm shaping as I go you can see nice and blended already um, so with James because he does have such a thick dense beard and he wants it tighter on the sides typically with that I'll start with a four with people and um, I'm gonna come straight down but I'm not gonna keep it tight to the face. I'm gonna just I'm gonna show you real quick. So I'm taking off that bulk, but then I'm kind of staying flat and following that initial line. Away. Yeah, you're not pushing hard against. Exactly, the face I'm not at all. Either. I'm actually right now. I'm off the face, so I'm on and then off. Right here. James also likes to keep this guy mm -hmm. going so whatever I do I don't mess with James's mustache nope like I said James has a very sensitive skin I actually I lined up his cheeks with uh, my uh, gold FX and now I'm just really quickly gonna go in not really quickly but go in with my straight razor um, I just changed the blade and everything I personally uh, I was gifted this uh, metal straight razor from one of the barbers, George, when I first started working here. And I was used to plastic ones um, earlier on in my career. And I really do like the weight that this metal um, adds. I feel like I get cleaner lines and I don't, I kind of let the blade do the work. So like less is more kind of thing. Um, and I start by just stretching his skin, tilt his head to where I want it. Touch the skin and gently tap the lines that I already made. You really want to put your thumb in front of the client's eye, at least I do, uh, just as an extra security or protection. Especially in this shop, you never know what's going to get said, who's going to pop his head up or not. And this just kind of Gives you that sense of security. After shave, I use the Clubman, the classic uh, scent. And it's old school, everybody loves it. Everybody asks where to get it, CVS. Um, I just little spray. Tell them it's gonna burn a little bit, but it's a good clean feeling afterwards. And it prevents all breakouts. So I'm gonna kind of clean out his ears, clean out the hair behind the ears. You feel relaxed? Oh yeah, I feel fantastic yeah. right now. So this is no product, um, non-styled. You can see nothing's really standing up um, as it was in the like before, mm -hmm. um, and that's my goal. So that say he doesn't put product in for one day, it's not gonna be the end of the world. However, he requested that he puts his own product in uh, today. I just like doing that, yeah. He is going to be using the Four Bites styling uh, styling balm, and we got a fresh container here. New fresh? A fresh back bar container. Look at that. Clean. Clean. 
James is a big beard brain guy. He uses it for the beard and the hair, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool about the product, to be honest. Totally does. Yeah, versatile. Versatility. You're gonna comb it? Yeah. Alright, so. Everybody kind of, like, you'll notice your clients are gonna style their hair a certain way. It's just their personal preference, and you gotta let them do their thing. Um, I'm gonna lower them a little bit in the chair. And I like to end every. Uh, Every style with a little bit of heat. We'll dry up for volume, obviously. And you come to all back with the top. So we've uh, completed our cut here. Uh, what do you think, James? This is perfect, man. This is exactly what I wanted. Now's your last chance to speak on anything. No, you this tweak. is awesome, man. This is exactly what I wanted. The beard looks great. Part looks good. Yeah, and then like I said, this low zero taper is going to give you an extra couple that looks weeks fantastic. in terms of grow yeah. out time. That looks great. Uh, just in time for Christmas. Lines are sharp. Oh. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Thank you, dude. All right, no Appreciate it, brother. Always. Appreciate it. James Dapp from the Dapper Den Barbershop in Richfield, Connecticut, and today we have Tom. Tom, what are we doing today? So I want to clean up the beard, but like, I feel like mustache and uh, right here is the best part. But I've got okay. some patches, so line it up, but try to keep something there. Okay. Um, and then the top is like, let's do a fade on the side. Uh, normally I brush it over, but I don't know about my hairline. Okay. So whatever you think, like. We'll clean that up and make it look better. So you usually kind of go something like that? Yeah, pretty much, but it's it's definitely long. Yeah, so there's a lot of weight right here. Um, okay, so would you be okay with doing like a one to like a two, like a little yeah. screen taper in the back yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that? half to All one, right. one to two, whatever. So the hair's pretty standard. We do that a lot here, but we're going to focus more on the beard and what we're going to do with the beard later on and keeping all that. We'll talk about that in a bit. So, cool. Let's get started. Right now, I'm using my magic clip cordless and I've also got my two speedo guide on here um, disinfect so I'm gonna comb the way that he wants to go right now he doesn't want to part I'm also combing it where the cowlick goes and all this weight right here I'm gonna get rid of because we're not gonna do a part correct right yeah. even though it looks like I'm putting one in now just for reference for myself so you just need to take the crown off like that James not there yet <laughs> oh <laughs> So I'm leaving a bit of the crown right now. I am going to take that off, but I will explain why when I get to that part. But there's a reason that everyone comments that why we cut off the crown and everything like that. But there's a reason that we do it here specifically. Uh, and I will get into that in a little bit, but right now I'm just gonna finish up with my two going around. So now I'm switching over to a one. Speedo guide. I'm gonna go pretty high with this right now. All right, so now that I got a one kind of guideline around here for myself. I'm going to start opening this up just a bit and just start going up, pulling the skin a bit. Just kind of going around. I'm still like kind of flicking off and everything, pulling off. All right, open it up a little bit more. So Tom, you're from where, North Carolina? Uh, yeah, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah. Nice. It's a hell of a commute just to get a haircut. Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Always taking a step back, trying to look to see if I missed anything. Now I'm opening it up almost all the way. Just kind of going up into it. All right, so now we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna skin at the back a little bit. So that's why I went really high with the one. You can still see the line there. I'm gonna get that out in a bit. But right now I'm just taking this fully closed.
open it up a little bit more. Just kind of slowly opening it up, going out the whole back of the head. And I am kind of going like this throughout, just making sure I got all of it. If there's some dark spots, I'll keep going in, I'll massage it out a little bit more, make sure I got all those hairs, bring it down a bit. All right, so I'm gonna put a half guard on. I'm gonna leave it open Ow. first. <laughs> all right, what'd you do? I just banged my head. All right, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this open first. Go up just until I start hearing yeah, something. I'm a little woozy. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly start to close it. So now I'm fading down with this. I can just about hear some stuff cutting. I'm killing you there, Tom. No, you good. All right. Doesn't help me. Yes, my shirt's not iron. Thank you for pointing that out, Jared. <laughs> Alright, so there's a couple I'm a lines in here. I'm a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> So now, right now, I'm scraping. So I have this thing completely closed. I'm holding it against the skin, and I'm scraping against it just until I hit that line and scraping off. So now I'm starting to fade down because I got all my guidelines. I just want to get all the heaviness out. Also, a good point, you know, having another barber consult it, too, is not a bad thing. <laughs> Seriously, I know Jared's sometimes obnoxious. But, you know, he's the boss, I guess. So they say. So I'm going to start doing my outline. I know we talked about that last time. I like to do my outline now because I like to see the haircut come together. I like to talk about this new doohickey I got right here. This is the uh, skeletonized Babyliss, uh outliner right now. This thing is amazing. A zero, it comes with a zero gapper. You zero gap it yourself. Uh, it is awesome. Super good cut. Doesn't really pull on the hair. So I know with the beard, we're gonna do some tight lines here. Sorry.
brush and get all those random hairs off right now. Alright, so now we're going to go on the top and we're going to start to get some length off of this. Rock a nice little mohawk. Huh? You could rock the mohawk if you want, yeah. I'd say go for it. That's professional. What do you do? <laughs> Work in finance. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a very so, finance approach. Definitely would be acceptable. Yeah. So I'm going to comb it all the way down. I'm going to take about... Well, I don't know, what is that, an inch? I should probably know measurements by now. I'm going to come up with it. And just cross-check it here with the scissors. Again, the scissor over comb, it's just mine and Jared's technique. Sometimes the hair is super long, we will section it out. I know a lot of people talk about that on YouTube in the comments and stuff, but um, you know, this is just the way we work. Different strokes for different folks. Am I right? <laughs> I just want to get this down just a little bit. It looks a lot better with all the weight on. Yeah, it does look a lot better. It's starting to get some shape right yeah. now. Dun it, dun it, dun it. Shark fin, dun it. <laughs> okay, so now we're switching over to our shark fin. <laughs> Uh, thinning shears right now. Again, I went back to these. I'm starting to like them a little bit more. I'm getting a little more control over them. They've been cutting better for me. And if you haven't checked out Sharkfin yet, go on Sharkfin Shears. I think it's sharkfinshears.com. Or type in Sharkfin Shears to Google. Uh, so I'm going to start pulling it this way first. I'm just going to start texturizing it to blend it in more. Get all this heaviness out of his, uh, of his hair. Uh, a couple people in the comments last time asked me, you know, why are you using thinning shears on someone like Tom spoke? You know, he is thinning a bit back here. I'm not using it to get into the hair. I'm using it to just do the tips so it has a textured look to it and blends in a lot nicer. So this is where the crown, I'm going to start to really blend this in now and take this off. All right, so now this is where the weight problem is. I know he doesn't want a part, so I'm gonna kind of take the weight, and I'm gonna go with the comb this way and just get a lot of that out right now, which is gonna blend very nicely. This one, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper with the thinning shears, because he doesn't want that weight there. And I can look back, I see a little weight here. I'm gonna take all that off, make it easier for him. Hopefully you'll see from the before, all the weight that was here, this is just a lot more low maintenance for him. He doesn't have to worry about keeping any of this. It's chopped down. It's good. He doesn't have to wake up in the morning and worry about getting his cowlick down. Again, if you do cut the crown right, it'll just fall naturally. I do understand that. But this is just the way that we cut here. Some of you might agree with it. Some of you don't. Uh, it's just the way that our clients like it. When you said sometimes it's a, a good for another person's yeah. eyes. Yeah. I mean, I'm noticing like the way his head shape is it will play a little bit of a trick on that side as well. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. So what Jared so, said I mean, you really can push as hard as you want, but it's not gonna get any closer. No, you know, it's not. But the thing is, you kinda wanna make it look even. Right. So I'll go in with the one, I'll try to maybe use my corners a little bit. Right. Just try to get that whole thing out. So I'll have it open first and I'll start to fade. Just until I still- You're gonna massage it a little better. Make sure I get all of these. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm just going back over the whole thing, making sure it's blended. Tom, how's it looking so far? Though? It's looking good. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Fade so nice. with this right here, what do you want to do with this little front part right here, the fringe, if you will? Fringe, very English. I right mean, Norm, I'm going to tell you, what, what I said to do earlier, this actually looks better, because I was initially going to say to just do it naturally and work with what you got. Right. No, I think but then we were going to use it to, to kind of just like, you know, feather here. And to tell you the truth, I think yeah, it looks yeah. really good, yeah, nice and clean, and yeah. it follows the curvature of your head. It's not like you're trying to do something it doesn't want to do. Right. It you looks know? clean. I think this looks more like you look like you work in finance right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe with the beard, when we clean it up, you look like you might kill people, which is a good thing. Uh, uh, that's what they do in finance, too. <laughs> yes. okay. oh. So let's talk beard now. Tom. Yeah, I mean, probably line, like much better lines. It's patchy in here, so like, it looks good in the front, okay. but I don't like if you want to like sharpen it up. Okay. Um, you want to tighten it up on the sides a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, bring it because it kind of like sticks out because I sort of grow these hairs out to cover up a little bit. Okay. Um, 
but if we can like cut it in some, make it look cleaner, a yeah, little cleaner the look. You want to keep like keep, the mustache, keep the bulk yeah, where the bulk the, is, yeah, and kind of blend like that's into the patch. Like, for for me too. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So for this, I'm just combing it straight. Tom, do you blow dry it or anything like that? Uh, when it's long, but is this not I, long? <laughs> this is... Well, yeah, yeah, it took some length off. Okay. But like I did for the wedding on Saturday, I put some sea salt spray and blue dry it. So like. I didn't put anything in today. Normally, be blonde, like straight. Blue dry? Blow he dry said blue dry. We dry. had this issue last we time. Blue we dry. weren't sure. Blue dry. Blue dry. Blue dry. Blue dry. Can you kind of see how it's kind of going up? It's kind of going. There's a couple straggle hairs. It's going down here, up here. So I just want to get this all in even length right now, to where we're not having any of that neck hair. So I'm gonna take this, my uh, babylus skeletonized. I'm just gonna start a line. I have a much better line form right now. I'm gonna use that as my guideline over here. It's already looking like it's got a lot more shape to it on that side. Can you see that on the side yeah. there? It's already got yeah. a lot better shape. We're still keeping some of the fullness that we can. And this is a good thing for people that, I mean, your, your beard is a little patchy. You know that we talked about yeah. that already. Yeah. Did I offend you with that? We already, no, you no, already I, said it. I know. It's like right in here, a little bit on this side. Yeah. I wish I had a nice full beard, but... I, no, but the thing is, you work with good. it. It yeah. works for what it is. Like, you have the mustache, you have the beard, you have the thickness right here. And it's not bad. I mean, you have enough growth. And this is a good thing for people that want to grow beards that, you know, really... Not can't, but, you know, just want to have a little patchiness. Right. That you can just, still have a beard. It's just about getting it shaped up right and having it shaped right to your face. Yeah. All right, so I'm just trying to match up each side right now just going in there taking some good weight off Tom this beard trim comes out great you'll be having a kid in no time <laughs> okay so now we got a pretty good neckline going I'm gonna touch that up when I lean them back right now I'm just gonna kind of freehand I do like to freehand this kind of stuff and I'm gonna go down against it very carefully and just get all the bits that are kind of falling off the side right now With this thing, if you try to do this, less is always more. All right, so before I go into this, you can see there's a little bit of, um, it's these areas that are a little bit difficult right here because it kind of goes down and then kind of goes back up. We're kind of going to work with what you got here. Yeah. We'll try to make it as clean as possible. Could still go down just a bit more. So I'm just going to keep combing it and just making sure I got all those kind of parts that would fly away from them. And this is where product is definitely going to help them out. And you said what you use the beard brand styling balm? Uh, for my beard, I normally just use the utility balm. Okay. And then when it was long, I'd put sea salt spray in and blow dry it. Okay. Um. All right, so what I'm going to do is I see some spots that are a little bit thicker than others. I want to blend them in, so I'm going to take my shark fin uh, shears right now. Uh, right here, I notice I'm going to need to pick it up just a bit for me. Thank you. And I'm just going to kind of just snip that just a bit. And it's also going to help it lay down also. All right, for the mustache, you said you want to keep a lot of length on that, right? Yeah, don't really need to do much to it. Okay, I'm going to tap just the top of it, Clean it get up some of those bit, things yeah. out. Again, if you decide to freehand a beard, I, I can't think this enough, stress this enough, that less is more. When you do less, you can always take off more. It's not a it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Uh, it might take you a little more time, but you know it's better to take more time than take too much off on the first one. Tom, how's it looking on the beard so far? I like those nice lines in the back side. That's, nice lines in the yeah, back. Okay, yeah, that's what it's all about. But we're gonna line this up with a razor, and we're gonna take and make a sharper yep. look for you right now. All right, so how does your neck when you get a razor on there? Is it okay, or do you yeah. get a little irritated? Not really. Not really? Okay. I mean, sometimes there's a few bumps, but not... Nothing like, crazy? Okay. Yeah, not normally. There's like to check with the customer, see if they're going to, you know, 
hate their lives after a stray razor shave on the neck because their neck might be a little too much. Too much. What am I trying to say here? <laughs> irritation. They might have irritation. Thank you, Tom. Do you want to work here? I'm gonna take a hot towel. Some more. Is that too hot? No. Nope. Just relax. Is that too hot? Nope. Yeah. All right, just relax. So I've been using two towels recently. I like this because I just leave the bottom one on the neck the whole time while I finish up this to really soften up this, uh, the neck area, so I don't get any irritation or anything like that. It's very boring when you go in a straight line on an motorcycle. That's fair, but you can go faster that way. You could go faster. So I'm going to be careful. He's got a little irritation right there, so I just want to be really careful when I go over that. Throwing too much new music in? So that looks a lot better from what he was working with. It's got a lot tighter lines now. You see that? It kind of brought it down. We can't really notice the, the patch as much in it, which is good. All right, so for this, for now, we're going to do some styling up on it. Um, for this, I'm going to use styling mops using his hair, but I also want to use his beard a little bit to get it to lay down flat and have good shape to it. Uh, you said you're using old money. You just want to stick with that? Yeah, that's good. See, there's like all these videos. You can do all the concerts. That's one of the other ones got a better scent, you know? Video. Old Money's good, man. I'm a Four Vices fan yeah. myself, but let's stick with Old Money. Yeah. Like it. So this is our Old Money styling bomb. You know, I, I just saw, um, I think I'm going to cancel my... I'm just going to take a little bit of this out. And he uses his hair first, so we're just going to throw a little bit in his hair. Get it up. Nice mohawk going yeah, there, right? Just kind of kick it over. We're going to style with the comb in a bit. And then just take the rest of it, and we're just going to lay everything else down. Yeah, maybe 12 bucks compared to the 7 or 8 I was paying anyway. Yeah. It was cool, but for my son, it's more pullback. Yeah. <laughs> That's on video. She steals food. All right, Tom, what do you think, man? Yeah, it looks good. I like the line up here. Doesn't look as patchy. Appreciate you leaving this and uh, the top with the fade. That's good because I can just do this in the morning. That's way easier than cool. messing with the blow dryer. Don't worry about that stuff yeah. and up in the morning. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, man. Yo, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Good to see you, all right? Thank you. Thanks for the Dapper Den.